come on, man. Happy Friday. Welcome to the show. Happy Friday. I'm back to the flat bill. I just had to panic choose a hat at the last minute. I went flat bill for the guy concerned that I'm not rotating, representing the flat bills enough on the program. So I will be flat billing it today. Happy Friday. Welcome to the show. We were doing a little pre-show watching of Kevin Brennan. Yikes. This guy's starting like 48 minutes late now. And then he's solo. So it's like, what were we waiting on? What were we waiting on? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. I'll tell you that much for sure. Zulu, good. Gorilla, Zulu, like dancing. Zulu. Dancing, gorilla, tickle me, Kevin, tickle me. Stop eating my sesame cake. Um, I don't endorse that at all. Happy birthday to PA podcast host Juggalo Patriot, Hackamania VIP for life. Juggalo Patriot, is it? Juggalo Patriot. Yeah, these are the guys that uh, were guessing the venue for Hackamania. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, tickets are going. Tickets are going. It's Friday. There's no better way to spend your money than nobody likes onions. Think about it. I know you've thought about it. I know you've run the numbers. When was the last time you checked on those flights, huh? When was the last time? Also, you know, I think we do a contest. Win rate win a stay and raise room. I changed Ray's room from a king size bed to two two double queens. And we give away the other bed to a listener free of charge, no background check necessary. Feel free to rummage through Ray's things and send us footage of everything weird and special Ray owns. We have updated the, the uh the uh, night board it's really coming together here we got a few squares left help this young young transition you know come on come on uh, but I did switch four I switched uh, seven six and 26. And then there was somebody else who deserved one last night. I just picked one at random. I forget which one it was even. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Could be good. Could be bad. What up, Kraut Cat? April LaRue equals... Hold on. April LaRue minus Zumok equals drugs. April is on pills. April Steel Toe crushes up her Adderall and snorts it. This is all alleged. We can't prove any of this. April is on coke and meth and pills. April Devon, Devon Payment, her ex. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Please don't change the lights. I went, I, I, they're a little better, right? They're fine. 
I've got him. I got him set to eerie tonight. Eerie. We're gonna do a regular show here, and then we're gonna do a members-only program tonight. Grab yourself a membership. There's never been a better time to support the show. There are good ways to support the show. There are insane ways to support the show. One of the insane ways to support the show is to call the show's host over 25 times in one day. Just putting that out there. You wouldn't think you would have to say that out loud. You would think that after not picking up any of the calls from yesterday or through the night or throughout the morning and into the afternoon, you would think And you're a very nice lady. I'm sure you're a very nice lady, but I don't just, you know, talk to strangers on the phone. You got to come out and grab my dick in an elevator or something like the old days. I don't, yeah, I don't know. You know, I, imagine if I just took calls from everybody. It's insane. It's insane. Anyway, the point is, um, don't go away mad. Please just go away. My Adderall prescription is written out by a real doctor. Just because I crush them up with my driver's license and snort them doesn't mean I'm not taking them as prescribed. She told me she has a question. She wants my advice. And I said, just ask it. She said, you're lost. She got real catty and nasty uh, with me. You know what I mean? Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification. Notification. Notification button. Uh, Jason Bentley checking in. Uh, $10. Just put the C's in Ray's room. What? The C's? You know me. I'm very high, Bentley. I can't be doing uh, puzzles today. What C's? Oh, the Catalanos. I, I need you to type it out. Hey, you know, the beauty of Super Tip is it's not hard to type a message and autocorrect and stuff like it is on Super Chat. How crazy is it that it's so difficult to Super Chat? So come on over to Super Tip. We'd love to have you. Supertip.gg slash NLO. Join the Bentleys, you know? Anyway, that woman, you know, we thought it was Jen Bentley the other night who was calling in just all giggly. She said she might call in tonight, but I don't know. She got real surly with me after I wouldn't take her call. Is this tonight? Is this today's show? Is, the ha is this where the having happens? Yeah, maybe we'll cover the having live. Tonight's the Bitcoin having. Can you believe, man, when I when I got into Bitcoin, you got $50. When I was a boy, you got 50 Bitcoin for mining a block. Can you believe today you only get 6.25 Bitcoin for mining a block? And tomorrow, you'll only get 3.125 Bitcoin for mining a block? Your grandchildren will get mere Satoshis. From mining a block. In beyond 2140, forget about it. It's just fees. It's just fees. All right, we got to get rid of this Jack Peters guy. He's, he's trying too hard. Jack, we, uh, we can do anything, man, but you can't, like, it's not about you here. It's like a group thing. You know how, like, we ban, like, three people a year from this chat. You know how insane you got to be? We put up with a lot of sparks. Sam V is welcome. We've learned to embrace Sam V. Doom is allowed here. You know, we like these guys. <laughs> what a knot. What a knot. You can't run over. 
You can't run out on everybody. Fucking unhinged. Yeah, the having. Grab Bitcoin. I'm telling you, uh, it's your last chance to. It really is going to go up. Uh, there will be a spike starting tomorrow. I'm here until replayable starts. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. Jesus Listen Christ. to NXS. Imagine waiting around for replayables to start. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm here until replayable starts. So, like, don't say that out loud. Don't tell people that. That's not something you should ever brag about to folk. 10 speed, I love this show. Keep it to yourself. Waiver, 149. Waiver, 199. What, 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 what's the decision making process like? What, 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 what make, you know, they're back to back. What makes you do 149 versus 199? I don't think he ever even talks, does he? It's always just a weird, spurgy super stick. It's never over two bucks, right? I got to start tracking these people. John's neglected, man. Uh, B Smiley, 149, sword in the scale, 199. See what's happening. Shit show. Maybe lip cancer, massive leaking carbuncle. Oh, God. It's getting worse and worse. It's getting, it's the color of a nice Merlot or, or, a, or a cab. <laughs> it's gross. And I think it's like moving down his lip. Like even the sore can't take his breath anymore. So it's migrating south. Oof. Michaela, five gifted membership. Thank you. It means so much to me and my family of small children. Uh, sweet, sweaty tryhard. Uh, memberships mean a lot on Fridays because we do go members only. So we'll, we will be locking it down tonight for the Star 80 uh, Watch Fest. Sweaty tryhard, 99 cent super sticker. Poncho Pilot, 4.99 super sticker. Look at this. Can you send a hundred dollar super sticker? Can you like, what's the, they should make you type something. That super tip will always make you type something. We don't sit around taking your, taking your no message. Actually, we're working on something. Uh, 99 cent super sticker from waiver crowd cat with a one ninety nine super stickers. Make me, I'm not even kidding. I understand it's the equivalent of someone walking up and handing you two bucks. They're enraging. They're enraging. Because I do them on here, I don't even see what they are. I don't even know what they are because I don't see the real chat. They just eat up my time and they're enraging. Can you just save up? I mean, Waver does like 3,800 of them a show. Could you just send in a 20? You fucking fag. You just like to hear your name. If you're special needs, it's okay. Raise your hand. I'll understand. Uh, they on they low key upset me. <laughs> um, do not send any super stickers. I understand what I'm doing, but look, Waver's going, okay, okay. He might get it. He might get it. Oh, he's raising his hand. Okay. Well, look, if it's, if it helps, um, you know, if that's the word you need to hear to help stop your ticks, then I guess, you know, I don't want to be an enemy of the special needs. Crowdcat's got like 400 of these. And then what makes them show up? What's the, this one's 199 and it's red. This one's 199 and it's blue. Wait. So like, what the fuck? Why is this one red? And why is this one blue? Anyone? Anyone? I hate this. 
None of it makes sense. This one's two ninety nine and it's blue. And what makes you do that? What makes you do this? Uh, these are worse than the AI chats. Troy Queso, please do a professional and fun show tonight. I mean, that's out the window, is it not? That's that's that ship has sailed. Crowdcat gifting a membership. Thank you, Edinburgh Mikey. Sadly, I have to bow out. I'm at work, and yeah, bowing out just like a just like a Scottish sack of shit. Jimmy the Lit member for two months. Do you own any of the altcoins or just Bitcoin? I have a few. Uh, mostly Ripple and Ethereum. Uh, Keel, two dollars. Canadian, so not even. Catalano TV, Hackamania, May thirty first, June first, June second. Buy your tickets now, people. Hey Patrick, how's your day going? I wake up to two emails from Joey, motherfucking Catalano. Uh, this is my life. I've got a world-class event to plan. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working with everything from chair rental to tablecloths. I wake up this morning, two emails from one Joey Catalano. Screenshots of our Discord. Of me saying any paid ticketed attendee can make Joey C get out of a chair at any time because he didn't pay. Because Joey didn't pay for his tickets. Because Ian Hawk was trolling me saying, you know, it's not fair fans paid for Joey's and his wife's tickets. And I said, no problem. You know, you can, if there's no room in the showroom and you want to get in, you can always ask Joey and his wife to leave if you're a paid ticket holder. <coughs> so somebody sends this to Joey C. I get two emails from Joey C within 10 minutes of each other demanding I explain myself and apologize and all this stuff and nobody will tell them where to stand and what to do now look it would make sense joey as just as a representative of the community who's there you know as an ambassador for the dabbleverse and your own show and in some ways the shuley network let's be honest you're a you're a shuley guy and you will be reporting back to shuley and stuff and i'm aware of that and i'm fine with that you know everybody everyone's going to be allowed we we i think we're actually going to set up a table where you can podcast from at Hackamania. So, like, if you want to sit down and have a Hackamania backdrop and do your podcast from Hackamania, because I heard these PAA guys, um, and I don't know what their podcast is. It's political in nature. I don't know if we agree and align politically. But if you guys want to come in there and scream about stuff, you know, we'll set up a little table in an area where everybody can kind of do their remotes. I think that'll be very, very cool. Because, again, we have this giant uh, function room. So I, it's going to be great. And all that can be going on during uh, the live stream of the shows as well. And that'll be open. But I told Joey, you know, like, you got to chill, man. You got to stop bugging me about every little thing. Discord's Discord. We're joking around. Joey and his wife are welcome there. They're going to behave, you know, and by the way, leading up to the event, Joey, if you start doing criminal behavior and doxing people and doing all this weird shit, we don't want you there. Everyone be on their best behavior leading up to this event. I will not hesitate to kick you the fuck out. There will be security there. 
Every I told Joey C. I'm gonna shake his hand. I'll buy him and his wife a drink. They're gonna treat everybody with respect. He's gonna he's gonna get treated with respect. We're not having no. Uh, it, this is a celebration of idiots. We can't be having nightmares and disasters afoot. Okay. Thank you for this. Bob Sacramento gifting five memberships. Oodles of Poodles, member for 12 months with a super sticker. Fuck you. Sword in the scale with a super sticker. Bone in the Carbarian with a super sticker. Nam Sam with a super sticker. Sword in the scale with a super sticker. Buck Naked with a super sticker. Spectre. In SSRD, S5, RD, I don't know. Super sticker, Jack the Tripper, super sticker, Misfit, super sticker. Spectre, NS5, RD, super sticker, Dusty Settle. Play the AI Steel Toe song. We actually have a new one to debut tonight. Somebody sent in. Are you interested? Are you interested? Um. This is by the same guy, I think, right? Wait, is this the same one from yesterday? We already played this, dude. He sent it in again today. This is the guy who sent the one in yesterday. We already played it, dog. Don't forget to send in your artwork for the April M. Holt, uh, contest about what she's going to do next for her job. It's our next art contest. We're giving away a free shirt from our store. Monday, we're going to go over these. Some new entries are coming in. What is April Imholt's next job? We want you to depict it as best you can. Hello. Hello. This is getting racist, man. Hello. Can you hear me now? I don't know what's going on with people. Sometimes I think it's me, but then somebody calls right in again and everything's fine. So it can't be me. Okay, Melton, I've been working on new material for Hackamania, but I need your help. Knock, knock. What the fuck, right? Who's, who's there? Zulu. Zulu who? Kevin Brennan spear chucking watermelon slurping male ordered slave wife. This is why he won't talk to us. You know, this is what we're talking about. Please. Uh, Donna G member for five months. Thank you for the last five months, Patrick loving the show. Thank you, Donna fearless. Uh, hit the like button for a fun show. I owe you 13 calls. Oh my God. Is she the psycho is fearless. The psycho. Who's today's executive producer, by the way? I haven't even. Baloney Factory. Baloney Factory. We're doing it. We're having it. Thank you very much, Baloney Factory, who also, um, you know, making some very fine videos on of his own. Follow him on uh, Twitter and YouTube as well. And all the high rollers have been helping out with the show. Dear God, I hope this is up to date. I don't know. I have a feeling somebody might be missing from here. If you are from yesterday, let me know. Something that starts with a D. Anyway, you know, I can't be, uh, I'll be like movie. I'll just go, eh, what are you going to do? When April left, she took the ice cube trays from the freezer. What kind of sick bitch takes the ice cube trays? Uh, she really might be gone. We have some stuff to go over tonight to continue our investigation to did April cheat? Did April cheat? You know, we're all very curious about the potential of this. $3 super tips should be more than 50 Carrick. I don't know about that. We might get rid of them. Uh, Justin Kempel. I like when people say my name. Justin Kempel. Okay, daddy. Uh, Crowd Cat. The super stickers with the different colors soothe my OCD. Uh, and my tism, you know, what a lot of people don't take advantage of enough is that, you know, on a lot of the super chats, you can't use emojis and stuff. I would say that the ability to use emojis, um, in your super chats, which, which nobody does, but in your super tips, you can use your emojis. 
And uh, it's a game changer, man. He really is. Try it. Tell a story. It's be- It's way better. And I don't even know what, what the AI voices do if you do it in an emoji. So you might blow my whole tits away. Don't blow my tits away. Don't blow my tits away. Jason Bentley, the tablecloths better be equal to or better than the ones at the Atlantic City Bar and Grill. God damn it. You're not going to be sitting at a table, Bentley. We're not doing a fucking all-you-can-eat hot dog test, you Kobayashi imitating motherfucker. Okay? Sit in your fucking seat. Order a pizza. You'll live. We are Political Activists Anonymous. We hate politics and politicians because we used to be junkies. We would be honored with a table. Yeah, we're not giving you a table. We're just saying there will be a table people can use. We're not going to, like, schedule slots like birthday parties at a public park. I demand white claw in my green room melting. I, too, demand white claw. <laughs> white claw joey you're not going to be allowed in the green room (laughs) joey will have the most basic event badge we're not you're not getting vip performer you know we'll probably allow joey to come to the vip we're gonna get one of those pope mobile cars while we just keep him under a dome and wheel him around I fucking hate this, man. Super sticker, serial killer, super sticker, Lewis Ortiz, super sticker, sweaty tryhard, super sticker, Doug W. Spectre, super sticker, Ricky Julian, super sticker, shit show, Nam Saiyan, super sticker, Spectre, super sticker, what not, super sticker, Framp, super sticker, what now? We have a what not and a what now. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Can Patrick fly solo? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Thanks for everything. Any news on Hackamania live stream? No, it'll be announced in May. Uh, details will be announced in May. That and the uh, the um, sign up for the open mic. And look, a lot of people are excited about the open mic. It turns out we have we might have some of our uh, beloved chatters signing up for the open mic contest. Some names you might know from our chat community. We'd love to have you. So details on that. It'll all be uh, done through the website, hackamania.com. And uh, again, all the live stream details and sign up for that very soon. Hackamania.com. Before your paycheck's gone, head over there and spend a little money with the Hackamania folks, won't ya? The Hackamania folks are me. Me. Help us put some nice money in the coffers for the comics. Don't we want to pay these guys? You know? Patrick, it's fun to spend it all on badges. And balloons. And tablecloths and OSHA reinforced chair supports for Bentley. But we're trying to have a good time. We're trying to pay the comics. But the way things are going, we've only sold 14 tickets. <laughs> I can't even do these things to like try to get clipped anymore. Um,. Oh, and then I I get I got a message today. You know, a lot of people are waiting to find out. A lot of people are waiting until the last minute to buy their tickets and flights and stuff. They're waiting to find out if they can get off work. I, I heard from one of our chatters today that said um, they might come out with their son who listens to the show. And that if they do, they're going to use Ray's promo code. No one's used Cardiff's promo code yet, I don't think. I haven't checked most of today, and we did sell a couple. But as far as my knowledge, we haven't sold one Cardiff ticket yet. So the potato, as far as I'm concerned, has turned. The potato has a lot of uh, 
black spots in it. It's gone bad. Tastes like shit. Oh, God, every time. It's like a Hitler mustache on that thing. You know? How dare you do not respond within the minute? I send something to your email. All these people are nuts. Come at me, bro. I'm twice your size. I'm going to squash you like a bug. You're not. Hackamania going to be my WrestleMania moments. Has Joey, Joey, call in. We'd love to get an update. Have you raised enough fundage? Ladies and gentlemen, Earl Skakel. Yeah, I just thought, you know, I thought of something like a little bonus to give the listeners. It's a lot of money to go to Vegas, flights, gas, whatnot. If the winner of the Open My Contest is a female, uh, assuming I have a uh, two-bed room, they can uh, spend the night in my room and we can uh, watch uh, pro wrestling free of charge, and uh, I'll give them a back massage. I like to give back, Melton. I like to give back. Does she have to give you a front massage? I mean, let's just say she won the open mic, and then she gets the open Earl as a bonus. Hello! Whoa! This chick's calling me right now. Did you hear that? let me hang up. I'll, I'll I'll take your answer off the air. Listen to this. This crazy chick won't stop calling me. What a not. This is my personal number. I will not answer. I mean, you got to call into the show like everybody else. What a fucking crazy ass bitch. What a not. What a complete not. So this is how it is all day long. All day long. I, I uh, click don't answer and she calls and 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 calls. I can't be answering that on my personal phone. I'm not getting involved in that. Rick pays my phone, so. Movie, grab mama some and some make may mama smile. Mama, get back in your cage, you water buffalo pig neck slob. Neck slaw? Neck slob. Oof. Say it again. Movie, grab mama some and some make may mama smile. Mama, get back in your cage, you water buffalo pig neck slob. Yeah, it doesn't say it. It'd be great if it said bacon, shrimp. Mm. Uh, Bentley says, now you're finally helping me work on that rascal scooter, will you? He needs like one of those guys at the airport who run you to the gate. Unreal. KB always starts MLC late, whereas I haven't had consistent show start times in over a month. I'm too busy playing hide and seek with the venue and ensuring Joey and Mrs. C have comfortable accommodations. I'm a real pro. I mean, I'm not involved in any of Joey C's accommodations, but you can guarantee that was panhandler. That's like a panhandler. That's like if I went and looked up the credit card for that panhandler, I'd bet money on it. I'd bet money on it. That's how predictable and fingerprintable his insults are. They're like this just really uneven tone of like backhanded compliment insults. It's like, again, you can fingerprint it. I'd bet dollars on it. (laughs) It says anonymous and it would take me minutes to look up. Moody could look it up. I don't know his real name actually. So I wouldn't even know, but. You know the you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So that's what he does nonstop, and it's just like, okay. Yes, I've been running around nonstop helping Joey C get a room. You're very informed. This other guy, George Kanong, won't leave me alone. He used to be like a fan of the show, but he's like turned now and doesn't stop bugging me. five emails today it's like all just insults all just like low-key undertone insult 
KB was right. You do have access to our credit card. I never said I didn't. What's wrong with you people? I would never go look it up because I don't care. I, I don't I, I don't have to go look it up. That's what he does. That's exactly what he that's exactly the type of shit he types all day long. All day. We had lunch. He was like, oh man, thanks for coming out. Appreciate that. I was like, no, man, cool. See you at uh, Hackamania. And all he does now is low key insult Hackamania. Okay. I like cool bit, I guess. I I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. And again, I've said this like 17 times. To, I, I don't get it. What's the bit? And he's just like. But it is, it's like, it's like, I'm a hundred percent sure it's a man who doesn't know how to deal with feelings about another man. And it's whatever the equivalent of, is of pulling my, my pigtails on the, he loves the show. He loves the community. He participates in the community. Wanted to have lunch with me when he was in town. He's coming to Hackamania. Can't stop shitting on the show. Can't stop shitting on Hackamania. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, want to go to lunch again? No, no. Uh-uh. Want to hang out? Want to share a cigarette? No, no. Want to have a drink? No, no. I met you. You acted totally normal. And since then, you've done nothing but shit on me. I'm good. I'm good on pan handler. And by the way, that's called common sense. That's just called like, I'd, I'd rather hang out with Doom, who was limited to a two word vocabulary. The turn, the turn, the turn. I bet he changes up his pronunciation every time. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, I can't deal with people who don't know like, how to like socially adjust. Uh, maybe Patrick's just inflating things in his head. I'm, I mean, it's all, go on the Discord and look at it. <laughs> I blocked him like a week ago. I don't even look at it anymore, but he's never once gotten in touch with him and like, oh man, fuck, I was just fucking around. I didn't mean to. No, he means it and he doesn't stop doing it and it's cool and stuff, but it's like, okay. Um, so you, you, you think some people are normal and some people are autistic and then you meet some of the autistic ones and they're normal and you meet some of the normal ones and they're, they end up being some of the most autistic. So you really can't predict it. You see the frosting on a cake and you assume, you know, what flavor it is. You cut into it. You're like, Oh my God. Like at my buddy Shuby's wedding, he decided to have banana cake. At his wedding. Great choice. You know, people come out to your wedding. They fly. They get a tux. They get a hotel. They rent a car. They come out. They sit while you and some bitch tell each other lies about what you think of each other and then you know the the one unspoken agreement is at the end of it we get cake i think we'd all agree at the end of it we get cake and then you have the gall to serve up banana cake i mean you might as well have made it carrot cake No, thank you. No, thank you. And that wasn't even the worst wedding I went to this year, uh, that year. The, uh, the one before that was, was, um, cupcakes. They didn't have a cake, they had cupcakes and they were the driest little pleasure pucks you've ever had in your life. Gross chip a tooth. Just again. And again, you know, I, I, 
fly to New York, rent a car, stay in a hotel. I fly to fucking Santa Rosa, rent a car, stay in a hotel. 2500 bucks, you know, out the window. <whistles> Plus the gift. I mean, we're in the hole. And then a banana kick. And then a banana kick. And then a banana kick. I mean, I feel like someone should have cut me a check at the end of the wedding. Keep carrot cake out of your whore mouth. Fuck you. You're Scottish, too. You don't know shit. I won't get out of my seat for anyone. Doxed. For $20, I will, however, stand up and do the Catalano shuffle for no more than 20 seconds. For $30, I'll give you some of my heart medicine. A premium $50 includes the shuffle, the medicine, and I'll let you pet the manchichi. Manchichi, manchichi. Manchichi, manchichi. Oh, so soft and cuddly. With the bum in her mouth, she's really neat. Fun to wiggle his little feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, no, what does it say? What does it say? You know I can't read that small. You know I can't read that small. Come on. Don't dox me, bro. Don't dox me. This is going to be bad, isn't it? <clears throat> what does it say? I don't even I can't even read it. I stole four oxies from my dying grandmother. Sold three for 20 and kept one for me. Sharing is caring. So don't spend it all in one place. Wow. Wow. I don't know if you should ever like, uh, we'll, we're going to get your information forwarded to the police. <laughs> we're going to be sending that right over to the cops. Trust me on that. I am, it's truly disheartening to witness such a blatant display of self-indulgence and mediocrity. Come on. To believe that your insipid AI-generated song, crafted by the most basic of algorithms, deserves Patrick's attention, is the epitome of attention-seeking behavior. I'm... Frankly, even the most vulgar window-licking podcast enthusiasts can turn out these uninspired tunes with the help of services like Suno. No. Suno.com. If you truly yearn for admiration, pick up a pen and demonstrate your genuine creativity rather than relying on technology to do the heavy lifting. Wow, this is Troy Queso accusing people of using who use the uh, AI songwriters. You know, these must these are like uh, must be artists. You know, they're like true artists. They see the threat of AI, but I would argue you can't stop it. And you're going to really argue over the artistic merit of Where the Winter Bites Cold by Mahmood? Everyone loves it. Everyone loves this. Every time I play it, the crowd gets out their lighters. They start swaying. When Down the hits the start so playing. Story yet untold, Aaron, I'm whole, goes by steel toe on it. Uh, uh. But lately life's been tough, burdened with despair. His wife, April, known as Scrimp by fans. The love's in turmoil, we're caught in shifting sands. Shifting sands, come on. With kids from a past, a little storm brews near. As the lawyer's new life, bringing Aaron's fear. Movies on the airways, but it's People saying it stinks. Chains. April's out hunting while Aaron's in pain. The show's on YouTube, needing funds to flow. 350 per show, a tough uphill road. They've been kicked off Twitch, off broadcast radio too. Desperate forecast, they're feeling so blue. Aaron's lying through his teeth, saying all is well. But the divorce counter takes the story to tell. April might go back to factory floor. But once she's straight, 
behind closed factory doors. There is a phrase, she'll do it again. If she's not with him, his heart might just cave in. Divorce countdown, ticking for all to see. Good. They're Come paying on. on display for the world to decree. Come on, Tori. People in a bikini so. seeking salvation's hand. Desperate measures in a desolate land. One, two, three, go! Movies on the airways, but his heart's in chains. April's out hunting while Aaron's in pain. The show's on YouTube, needing funds to flow. 350 per show, a tough uphill road. In the land of lakes where dreams collide, Aaron and April fighting the tide. But beneath the surface, there's still a spark holding on tight in the dark. <laughs> Come on! Detroit hates it. Why are we encouraging this? It's very, very polarizing. People love it or hate it. But I would say, you know, Troy K, so let's hear your song. Let's hear your song. Because maybe we need a songwriting contest next week. AI versus real. AI versus real. If it's a real song that wins, we give a real cash prize. If it's an AI song that wins, you get a hat. Did you type some words into a bing? Okay? But like a real, you're right. I would reward real artistic merit, but I would also argue like a real songwriter should do way better. You know, that one's wonky. Moody said, I spent 15 minutes on this. I know if you play it, uh, I don't know what he said. It's going too fast. But the point is, uh, Dime card says AI versus real and 1000% AI wins. I don't know. This is interesting. Do we have any like singer songwriter fans who think they can beat AI? Yeah. Me and comedian Mike Bridenstine used to have a band called cock fosters where we just clucked like hens to everything. And then Jimmy Fallon did it on uh, Fallon. Spending all my nights, all my money going out on the town, doing anything just to get you off of my mind. But when the morning comes, I'm right back where I started again. Trying to forget you is just a waste of time. Baby, come back. Any kind of fool could see there was something in everything about you. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I just can't live without you. All right, let's get into Steel Toe. We do have to go back a little bit and watch some old stuff. But first of all, I heard that him and Keanu did not meet the goal. And they missed it by like $125. And I guess that's very sad. And uh, that means I think Keanu didn't earn any money. Um, But what I find really interesting now is that he, oh, no, I think we're getting a call from uh, one of the Catalano brothers. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Someone said that you wanted me to call. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're all good and you're going to chill out. Everything is going to be fine. Oh, yeah, I'm good, man. You you sent me that email saying, yeah, I'm good. everything's good, man. I told you, man. I, I'm going to be a professional, treat everybody, you know. With respect, I mean, I, I'm not about that, man. That's your event, man. I'm not going to But then ruin somebody your event, said man. you were running around the other day, like threatening to dox people. And, and can we no, just stop no, all this no, stuff? No, no. I'm not doxing anybody, man. I just do my show, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not looking to. I don't you talk people, about man. fighting you, John if you come out here and John's here. I said if John jumped up on anybody, I would. I would take care of John. That's what I said. If he came in there starting shit and trying to hit on anybody, yeah, I would get in John's face. Yeah. That's what I said. If he like came after you or came after somebody or anybody at the show, it, acting stupid, I would. Yeah, I would block John. Yeah, I would. I would protect the person he was going after. Now, where are you at on your fundraising? All right, I got the plane ticket money. I'm going to be buying the tickets uh, uh, the next couple of days. Um, I got a, about a hundred over my plane tickets now, so we're, we're we're good. We're in good position right now. So. And somebody got you a room or no? Well, I got a room at the Mirage. I got a free room for one night, and then. Uh, 
I'm gonna be I'm looking for for the other two nights now. So nice. Yeah, yeah. I got I got everything. Man. Mason gave me a new location. Uh, I'm just trying to get the flight. My flight to be because the first night starts at five o'clock, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get there before. So I'm, I'm looking. I'm waiting for to get a flight where I could be like a red eye out of here. So I'm there kind of like early afternoon. You know what I'm saying? So. But yeah, uh, I mean, as long good, as man. you as long as you leave by eight a.m., you'll be here. Yeah, yeah we're three hours. There's three, earlier, three hours so. difference still, right? There's a three hour difference. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, like I said, man, that's your event, man. I'm not looking to, to to bombard your event, man. You got a lot of time and money in there. You're a professional. When it comes down to it, no matter what, you guys are professionals. And now, I'm not about that, man. I, that's one thing. I, I'm a straight shooter, man. I'm not going to do. I don't pull no funny stuff like that, man. A lot Stop of people, me. Never have. Never will. Now, do you not get along with a lot of the people coming? These uh, Ian Hawk. I don't know if Ian Hawk's coming, but you know, why do you fight with all these people? Well, they well. I mean, there's reasons why I fought with them. They I mean they, they've done some pretty nasty things to me, so you know. But I haven't fought with nobody in a long time. So, and by the but way, least, I haven't been following you since I thought you were faking that whole thing in the hospital, you know, and stuff. Um, no, and then no, you, you no, I wasn't. got out, and then you were doing this religious bit. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, I mean, people were complaining I mean, that I was going to get all. It was too get much. All religious on them. So, what were you huh? doing? What was the plan with that? No, there was no plan. I mean, I I really was saved. You know, I asked Jesus in my heart. I, You're I, not saved. Saved is boring. I am saved. We don't allow. I am saved. We're not allowing any saved people at the event. But yeah, I don't mean I'm not going to preach it upon people. I mean, I believe in God and I accept Jesus in my heart and I, you know that's Gross. and I try to. Li- that's all you know. But I'm not going to preach it on nobody. It's not. It, that's not going to be bringing it to help to try to make, make people. Uh, uh, switch over to the Lord. I'm not going to do none of that, man. I don't do that stuff, man. You know the name it's of the for, the name of the venue is Sin Wave. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I just basically just sent me the new venue. Uh, he texted to me uh, yesterday, so yeah, that's cool. And he said it was closer, probably to the Strip, huh? Ah, yeah, it's ha- it's uh, halfway between downtown and the Strip, probably. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it pretty well. Like I said, I lived there three different times, and my dad was there for 25 years, so I know Vegas pretty good. So. All right. Well, nobody likes a bragger. Thank you. All right, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. We'll see you in a little over a month. And we hope we'll see you at Hackamania. Hackamania Hackamania.com. Promo code Cardiff for tickets. Promo code Cardiff for tickets. Hit the like button if you're watching the show. I imagine uh, MLC will be over sometime at some point. Some way in the sometime. I got to go do some work, man. We got, uh, not tonight or anything. I'm saying, just saying in general. There's a few more things like up in the air about this event that need to be locked down. And then I'm uh, insured of a success. But I got to thank all the fans who have reached out. If you reached out to volunteer, by the way, I haven't gotten back to you. Don't worry. I haven't gotten back to most people. Um, because we're not even close to like organizing volunteers. A lot of it's because like we're not going to need that much, especially with the new venue. It's so nice and set up well that it's just not going to take that much. But I appreciate it. But I want most people who are coming out to just hang and have a good time and not have to be burdened with responsibilities and uh, commitments. Isn't that what they call it in the AA meeting? You're not supposed to talk about it. Shut up. Shut up. So anyway, uh, yeah, I want this to be a positive event, a fun event. Everyone who's coming out is welcome as long as you're not going to be a problem and, and have a good time and stuff. Even again, Stuttering John and stuff. If, if stupid Stuttering John wants to come out and can handle being called stupid Stuttering John, you know, he's welcome to come out. We will be spitting on you and treating you like dog shit. Nobody thinks you're a celeb and nobody gives a fuck. And don't walk up on me without checking my hip. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Anyway, see you there, everybody. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. I will not be carrying a firearm. I cannot say I will not be carrying anything. Find out. I don't know. Find out. It's fun to find out. It's fun to find out. 
We're, we'll try to have uh, just an ongoing stream of the events. You know, maybe even the uh, the. I want to have uh, in the lobby um, screens. And in the main showroom, we're going to have two projectors, one in the back wall by the crowd and one on the stage. And I'll hope we'll have a live stream out in the lobby so you can just watch people. We'll just have it. We'll have it covertly streaming everything so you can catch people doing real, real shady shit. You know, I know the Dabbleverse loves to watch, rewind, watch, rewind. See, look at this. Look how colorful and bright. You can't do this with a super chat. Without text, it's spam. It's a good point, though. You know what I mean? So what is this? Kiwi dick. Uh, hold on. Kiwi, Moody fucks sheep, chickens, and writes shit music. Look at that. Look how we're telling stories. Moody, the Kiwi, fucks sheep and chickens, and he writes shit music. I mean, we're really, 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 really doing Hot shit. This is easy. This is easy stuff. Thank you, shit show, for proving the concept. We really, really did it, everybody. Okay, well, I really want to enjoy about Moody, Moody's uh, new begging is that he doesn't play the music and he doesn't rattle the plate anymore. So it really just stops the show and it gets awkward. I think. Rumble, if I'm on, an like, this is a weird thing for an app. If I'm on the Rumble app on Android, I can't. Oh, yeah, no. Already Sending us these links and uh, scaring the fucking shit out of us. Oh no! And fly to the edge of thunder. Get a hold of this. <laughs> right. Storms to launch the flares into the clouds. That is not a good way to be, dude. I I don't like that. Five bucks from Redbird says, depending on who you believe, they're already putting apathy-inducing chemicals in them for the last decade. Are they? They're putting apathy chemicals in the sky. Yeah, I don't really care. See what apathy I, inducing see what I, I did the thing with the, yeah, okay. uh you know what say it again oh oh okay all right <clears throat> oh they're putting apathy causing chemicals into the sky why is it cracking? i don't really care <laughs> why is it cracking for them ah. Uh, King of All Yeti says, I've already sent this to Gino. Okay, well, there you go. Now Gino has it. Uh, thank you, Justin. Keanu, did you get paid anything? Keanu's here, everybody. Keanu. Broadcasting's answer to the question nobody asked. Keanu, see yourself out, Thompson. Ugh. How much money did you get paid, Keanu, since you didn't meet the goal? And then and did your betrothed meet the goal today? She said she got paid. He said she got $100. God, they're so fucking poor. Keanu, do you have any inside information? You You, you could be a fucking star for once in your short little unpopular life you stupid firecracker crushing bitch i don't know why i'm totally kidding um i'm in a silly mood if you have any inside information they're clearly fucking separated how do you sit there and let him talk about flirting with girls at karaoke and where's april man Spill, spill. You have info. Spill. Why can't you? Why won't Keanu talk to me? Keanu, three two three eight two five four nine nine zero, and do a practice call before you call in and drop that accent, okay? Check my hip before you step. Is that barbecue sauce? Oh, uh, this is the fuck wrong holster. Hello, Patrick. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Hello! 
We got to know. Keanu will know if it's a work. Yeah, but Keanu might be in on it. I don't think it's a work, but I'm, I'm sure you were told not to ask questions or talk about April or. But come on, you got to be wondering, just like the rest of us, where's Ape? Where's Ape? We want Ape. Ah, uh, you think I'd tell you heathens anything? We're going to win. We're going to win. You think, do you think, I mean, honey, oh, God, it's painful. For the five bucks on PayPal. All right, boys and girls, here's where we're at. We got 10 minutes left. We're 165 away. If you want to get uh, generous very fast. We knock out that 160. How many more weekends are you going to keep waking up for this? This is bad. And again, Keanu, I, I said this morning or yesterday, it's not even you. You guys just don't have chemistry. You know, you're all, don't get me wrong. You, you're as close to dog shit as you can get. D5, we do a half hour. We know she's fine. That's not the question. Are they together? Is she in the house? It's not the internet. It's not the show. We know it's deeper than that. We've seen the playlist. No one listens to Adele near knives. No one. Or of overtime. I've got the PayPal link in the chat. You can do the rumble rants. You can go down in the description. Again, we, we all know how to pay you, motherfucker. We all know how to pay you. And you can, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, go find the links there and you can click on them. That's the, yeah, the thing about Rumble that people have been bitching about is they're like, I want to contribute, I want to donate. But with Rumble, if I'm on, An like, this is a weird thing for an app. If I'm on the Rumble app on Android, I can't click links. Like, so if you, you put the link up there, they can't click. It's them. the same thing with, um, there's something about, uh like an iphone and youtube like you can't really figure it out or become a member unless you're on your laptop or something like okay. that same same sort of weird glitch yeah none of these guys can figure it out none of these guys they all they they know it's something but none of them are sure what it is <laughs> it's like everyone knows except them they're like professional broadcasters, the one who knows the least about all of it. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. All right. So we got uh, we got ten minutes. We'd like to see you guys. It's not like when that guy called in. It was like, if you're really serious about getting lo your logistics and shipping and and coming up with a process, I can help you do that in like an afternoon. And you know what his answer to that was? Everyone's been so nice. Thank you so much. And moved on because he's not interested in the process. He's not interested in learning and improving. It's painful. It's fucking painful to watch. They're idiots. They're fucking idiots. Knock out that 165. Then we can get an extra uh, half hour with Keanu. And then Keanu. Great. The chat resoundingly said, no, thanks. Keanu can take whatever is extra. Keanu can take whatever's extra. Ah! And now that we know he pays her 120, even if they don't hit the goal, let's just not hit the goal and fucking break his ass. I mean, April's going to ruin this family now. April's going to wreck this family by leaving this show. Holy shit. On top of what we're going to give her for today's show. Oh, where are you, B-Mountain? Fuck, am I not on the screen? Fuck. I got, I've got to adjust my monitor. I, I can't see the broadcast. Apologies. I didn't, am I on now? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Tell me, baby. Oh, so if you're feeling generous, if you want to throw in. I had no idea. 20, 30, $975,000. Uh, go ahead. PayPal, uh, Rumble Rants, et cetera. Let's see if we can kill that 165. Uh, I do know nothing going to kill these horses tonight, but a song like a bullet from a dashboard light. 
She's not your new wife to bore to sleep. <laughs> Holy fuck, is this painful? Let's point this show west. Aim the barrel at your chest. Uh, getting shot through the speaker, both left and right in stereo. Uh, messing up my head, playing Russian roulette with the radio. Mow, 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 mow. <laughs> All right, we got, uh, I wanted. Great stuff, great stuff, guys. I love the way you guys riff. Do this Redskins story. Hey, easy on the language, guys. Uh, I want to do this redskin story for overtime. Remember when he tried to get you to say the N-word for two minutes? It was one of my favorite parts of the show. Fucking idiots. I mean, it, it, it's racist garbage. And, and again, I understand they're your friends, but it just... Believe me, there's no hope for Gino, but... I don't know. I, I don't know why I try to talk to people like they're human. You're all doing great. You're all doing great. I know you hit the goal. I know he's not a racist. I know this is very cool entertainment. We know. There's also a, 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 a an organ harvesting controversy. It's Aaron terrifies Keanu Thursdays. <laughs> I already don't sleep well. <laughs> well, and then Aaron. we've got one where Joe Biden claims bumbling old sponge. We're gonna we're gonna play that we're gonna play that for you in overtime if we knock it out. You're not. You're not. Rogue Veda with twenty bucks says, "Let's go. Let's do that." Indeed, one forty-five. Oh, yeah, I gotta stop talking to them like they're people. Uh, it's my mistake. I get roped into it, arguing with them like they're real people. It's like even Carl's like this dude delusional. <laughs> Gino and Keanu are like. They're nice people, and we want to do their show. It's like, okay, okay. He's a psychopath. He's an abusive psychopath. He's literally a bad person. I don't turn on people 100% unless they're bad human beings. I don't think you are a bad human being. He is a bad guy, just like Chad, just like Kevin. They're like bad dudes. Away from we today's goal. They would like they would like hurt people. They're bad guys. Time maybe will maybe you'll have an appearance from Bisconti Sans. Ooh, maybe Bisconti will join us as well. Ooh. <laughs> Cookie crisp. All right, let's go to the phone, see who we've got here. Hello, sir. What can we do for you? It's OJ. Hello, oh, Steel OJ, hello, buddy. It's good to hear from you again. Hey, who's the white bitch? <laughs> well, no, OJ, we don't say white bitch. That's that's the lovely and talented Keanu C. Thompson, OJ. Don't behead oh, me. No, I was talking. What are her talents? She took nudes once two years ago and people can't stop passing them around? <laughs> I thought that was Karen Fian. I was talking about you, Aaron. My bad. Oh, sorry, I'm the white bitch. I apologize. Well, you know me, OJ. Yeah, I like I like old Kiki. I, I, you know what? You know what Kiki? You know what she looks like to me? Who? With her good bag and her cheap shoes, she looks like a rube, a well scrubbed, hustling rube with little taste. <laughs> good nutrition has given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one. Just hey, how much skin are you gonna try to scrape scrape off that collarbone? The fuck kind of weird fidget spinner activity is this? Just fiddling around. You and April both just rubbing your upper breasticular area. A Paul White track is nonstop. Uh, OJ, did Indeed. you just and do? Oh, oh. So just... She did it for so long. It was distracting me. Yes. OJ, Here's did you South just? Carolina. OJ, did you just do Hannibal Lecter talking to Clarice Starling? I'm not even listening to the caller. Was it funny? Maybe. <laughs> ah! Knew it. Um, I love that he had pause. He yes. Went... Uh, OJ, how's heaven? Oh, it's exhausted. I'm fucking all these old white bitches. I'm just tired. I'm so oh. tired, boss. I'm sorry about that. You don't, and OJ, for the last time, you don't have to call me boss. It makes me uncomfortable. Yes, Keanu's got nudes. <laughs> what a strange thing to notice. Do you know me? I notice everything. I notice everything. I notice the cigarette burns all over Mooby's arm. 
I notice everything. What cigarette burns, Patrick? Let me show you. Dun, dun, dun. Here, here, here. They're all over the place. April burns him in the night. Well, everybody up here is making me call them that. <laughs> OJ, you've got a, you've developed like a slave diet. Thank you, OJ. Come OJ, uh, to carry me home. OJ yeah. comes in every once in a while and he, he chats with us. All right, Keanu. Let's let's do the beggy thing and let's see uh, in these last four minutes. So you used to, you know, it was embarrassing enough to beg over the music bed, but listen to how awkward it is with nothing now, where they just stop and wait for money to come in that never comes. Watch how fucking awkward this is. Four and a half minutes. Uh, oh, five minutes. I'm sorry, we got five minutes left. Let's see if we can jumpstart this thing and get that last 145 taken. I want to do it, Aaron. I just don't know how. Can you tell us how to donate? Care of. Everybody jump in, throw 10 or 20 into that PayPal link right there or into Rumble Rants. 145 in five minutes. We've gone on rushes like that before. Uh, if we get inside of 50, we will do that overtime for you. Uh, if, you can't, if you can't throw in any cash, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you follow the show. We do appreciate that. And remember that tomorrow we've got Gino for Rumble Friday uh, for the foreseeable future. And pins e needles. Pins and needles, man. Fuck, you got Gino? You got Gino. <sighs> and by the way, thank you so much uh, to both Keanu and Gino uh, for uh, it taking these days for the foreseeable future. Imagine thinking this improves upon just doing a show by yourself. And again, th that's not even a dig. At What's her name? Keanu. <laughs> it's just like they don't have chemistry it's bad very nice of them i'm sorry that i got suspended for their first day no no but. no you know what me and gina were talking about you make it easy aaron you uh you're always so well prepared and it's like what in the fuck are you talking about it's dudes giving up lazy i can't again they're not people they're not people these people are robots he's so well prepared Eyes glued to the chat, reacting to everything in extreme insanity. You're always so well prepared. I mean, where do you even get an adapter for his asshole, for your lips? What in the fuck? You couldn't argue that in a court if you had to. But again, um, imagine arguing with these dumb fucking idiots anymore. They, I, I'm glad to discover it early. They're like, no, Aaron's a real fucking pro at this. But again, they think he has a thousand listeners because they're dumb. They don't understand. It. Look at his numbers on everything. Look at them. He doesn't. No one watches that show. No one. Now, again, compared to you and your 35 viewers, I get it. I get it. You're going to cream your pants if 250 people are watching. It's fucking brutal. Sell your soul more, everybody. I mean, I hope it's worth it. Beloved Chatter, this is new Aaron Flirty Toe, his grossest form. Hey, guys, we got April 2 on the show today. I mean, Keanu, listen, baby, if things with Gino ever go south, know that I'm always here for you. How do you feel about macaroni salad? There's no winning with you, clowns. Look at the numbers of his show. Are we going to argue about what numbers are higher than what other numbers? Go look at how it's going and get back to me, you stupid bitch. There's no winning. It just is. What is, is. It just is. They suck. They suck. If you think he's prepared every day, watch it again and tell me the part that was prepared. Watch it back and let me know. Clicking around TMZ doth not a prep make. I, 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 this is the problem. You think you're a comic. That's the point. That's the point. He's a radio guy who's well prepared, and you're a comic. So you're already in a fucking bake shop of lies. Grab yourself an eclair. <laughs> fucking delusional. No respect for it.
No respect for any of it. Broadcasting, comedy, none of it. You're all great. You're all doing great. It's fucking pathetic. I don't even. I don't even fucking know. And people who like again, he knew. He knew. He he knows radio. He knows you're not good. He knows April's not good. It's fuck. It's so the minute you're compromised and start that shit, you're Ray. He's a good egg. He's a good guy. No, he's a good comic. Who's bad? Who's a bad comic? Who's a bad guy? Who don't you like? Because if the answer is nobody, then shut up. If Aaron's well prepared, everyone's well prepared. Sorry. You're not paying attention. Go back again a year ago. He said, we don't read the chat. We're a pro show. We don't read the chat. It's all he does now. It's all he does. Nothing to get up a little earlier. And I actually, <laughs> this is like the time I just stay up until. So yeah. really it's fine. And then you you prepare us for the yeah. for the entire program. We're so. good. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's rally it up. Like I said, we got about four minutes now to knock out this 145. All the links are in the chat. So take a break from whatever you're doing. Throw in a couple of bucks and uh, help us knock this thing out. Or uh, I guess if we don't, Tomorrow, mm -hmm. what we could do is, uh, you know, sometimes Gino and I will go till noon. We could use it as a, a little bit of a bonus time thing uh, for tomorrow. But what we'd really like to see. Imagine 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. having to sit and help Aaron earn a rent and make up for the fact that your girlfriend didn't help, help him earn it yesterday. You know what we do sometimes? We just keep going forever and ever until we die. Is we'd like to see you guys throw in, give Keanu the overtime numbers, and then uh, uh, keep going and get a nice little uh, bonus because it is very competitive in the Bisconti household, and if she makes more than he does, it looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Streamlabs. She like, pay but, like, she doesn't – Keanu is actually, like, pleasant – and again, like passable, like I'd have a drink with Keanu and hang out with Keanu. She's probably normal in person. Do I think you're a fucking idiot? Yes. You're with Gino. G Gino, I, I, I don't even, I want to get into it. Gino, Gino drunk messages me page after page after page after page after page after page after page. Of nonsense. I, c I couldn't read it if I tried. Nonstop. Nonstop books of messages. Nonstop. All the time. I never mention it. I never mention it. He gets drunk and, and, and messages me nonstop. Tomes and tomes of writing. I mean, I couldn't, again, I couldn't imagine reading it if I tried. The first few times he did it, I wrote like, all right. I wrote like, okay. Somebody said cocaine. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Again, like, he's one of these people. He may have something to say, and the world will never know. The reason he'll never, ever, ever be successful is he can't communicate. He screams. He jumps around. He can't stay on topic. He gets angry. It's emotional. He can't make a point. He's like sh comedy shaman and all these. It's like this. You'll, you'll never be. I could. You know. Again, I'm telling you what's wrong with you. And and it still will never get fixed. He can't fix it. He, he's. I've seen enough. I've seen it. I know. I know the problem, and it shall never, ever, ever be corrected. Fact. Fact. And yeah, maybe it was drugs, but now it's like permanently etched into his, you know, like the muscle memory of his being. So say whatever you want. I, 
I can't imagine the interpersonal relationships. I can't imagine the conversations and the arguments. It, he's just insane. You know, him and Chad yelling at each other was... Mwah. So, yeah, I, I got to remind myself that's who we're dealing with. It's like insanity. It's like actually insanity. Keanu's actually pleasant, right? Gina mocks black children getting shot by police. He is evil. Uh, he's the evil I only thought existed in the mi minds of HuffPo writers. She must be psycho underneath. Again, I think women are dumb. I think I just I think like women have to learn these things. It's why it's why I end up getting getting phone calls from you know fifty year old divorcees. They've learned their lesson. They know I'm a man with a good head on my shoulders, with a true north. I take no nonsense, big old dick. <laughs> ah, let's watch him fail. Pal, uh, rumble rants, etc. Uh, if you need to switch over to your browser to throw a couple bucks in, please do, and we'll see if we knock out that, uh, if, see if we go to overtime today. You've got three minutes to do it. And we are dry as a bone. Oh, we also have a story about uh, Kanye beating... Dry as a bone. We are dry as a bone. The living shit out of a guy. He's now uh, a suspect in a battery case. All right, here we go. I love yeah. it. Hey, Mike, when you put a ring on it, you can talk shit, okay? Okay. I was looking for a new wedding band today, you know? I haven't worn a wedding band in so long. Since my second marriage. And uh, I found this website called Manly Bands. And all I could think was is that sounds like a playlist Aaron would make <laughs> on Spotify. Manly Bands. <laughs> and then just like drag, drag like anybody with a beard, you know? Whether it's whether it's fucking uh, ZZ Top or bare naked ladies, Smash Mouth, yeah, anybody with a beard, manly bands. <laughs> manly bands, manly bands. Can't you see him naming a playlist that? If anybody ever comes over, I'll put this on. Guy stuff. Exactly. I love a good Kanye story. Oh, we also may or may not have a hobo chili recipe call to take during overtime. Okay. Uh, as he's trying to call in now. But right now it's time for our teasing overtime and trying to raise some money for the show segment. Uh, I want to see monkeys fly out of your ass. Let's wish and see which happens first. Says all you can eat. Monty, monty, monty. Oh. Landers says, uh, when Aaron crosses his arms, it pushes his sweet tits closer together. God damn, I am bricked up now. <laughs> Getting dick down in Dallas. Getting dick down in Dallas. An Something, a rim job. Uh, no, an analed in Austin. Analed in Austin. Uh, butt fucked in Boston. In Raleigh. Butt fucked in Boston. I think it was rim jobbed in Raleigh mm. is what it was. And then uh, tag teamed in Tennessee. It's just tag teamed in Tennessee. It's yeah. a sweet, it's a sweet to all song. The states. Yeah, this is going is great. All right, guys, uh, 145 away. We got two minutes left. It, uh, we're, we're in a little bit of, uh, looks like we might be wrapping up in a couple of minutes. That just means Kiki gets to go to bed. That means I get to start my day. And uh, it mm -hmm. means it, it gives you guys something to shoot for. Again, another win for Steel Toe. I actually wanted to get a start to my day early. Joke's on you, idiots. Another win for Steel, too. Thank you guys very much for the two VIPs this week. We have uh, been, we've been a bit ahead during Rumble Friday week, so we do appreciate that. You guys have been awesome this week. If we miss a day, we miss a day. Not the end of the world. Uh, one minute left. We've got our one-minute warning. It looks like we're not going to make it. 145 away. Let's see how close we can get, though. See if we can get, uh, you know. See if we can make it uh, a little competitive, as it were. You can't. You can't. 
Uh, King of All Yeti says, are those Wheeler Walker Jr. lyrics? No, they're, um, I, you know what? I don't remember who Dick Down in Dallas is. I don't remember. You're always so well prepared. Play those videos of you doing karaoke again. I love your show. You're always so well prepared. Meet Moop. I'm definitely not a woman robot. Beep boop. Example of how dumb she is. Hey, what's the call in number again? As if it's not pinned to the top of the fucking chat. As if it's not in the description. As if it's not on the website. You're dumb. You're too dumb. You're too dumb to be a part of this. Beat it. Beat it. Go to that fucking bandana wearing bitch of a boyfriend and get drunk. You're both too dumb to be here. Fuck. You could blindfold yourself and pin the tail on part of my phone number in this chat. You dumb, 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 dumb bitch. Just kidding me. Phone number's everywhere. It's everywhere. Not kidding. You're too dumb to be here. I'm not kidding. I don't want everyone. I don't want everyone. Some people are too dumb to be part of this. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> What's the call-in number again? I'm not an unprofessional shit show. It's everywhere. It's Findable all over. Don't call it. You're too dumb. I don't want to hear your fat face smash the buttons and send tones through to my ears, shivering me to my very core of my very cortex. You're too dumb. Go make Gino some SpaghettiOs and put a basil leaf on it and tell them it's authentic Italian. You're all too dumb to hang out with me. Go boil some eggs. I don't even have an end to that joke. It's just something funny to tell losers to do. Go boil some eggs. Go boil some eggs. <laughs> you just tell somebody, go boil some fucking eggs. LL Cool Lee, um, April telling the chat no crosstalk was when the turn started. To be so stupid to think you can control a chat is a woods, a dumb woods bitch move. Oh my God. Go boil an egg. This is getting rough. This is not how I wanted this to go. This is not how I wanted this to end today. I might go away. I might quit my own show. Either, but these lyricists are robbing America of uh, anybody could write those songs. <laughs> but it's feel good music. Trey, Trey Lewis. All right, Trey, Trey Lewis. Lewis. Uh, can we end with a hobo call? No, you guys don't deserve a hobo call. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chevy fan says when Kiki said her anal days were behind her, that was kind of funny. Yes, it has two meanings. Because <laughs> you see, because it's your, your. Beat. This whole show is like telling you how good the show is, begging for money, and then pointing out every glaring joke they made. Remember when we made that one joke? Go boil. Am I still? Okay, sorry. Uh, go boil an egg. Uh, beloved chatter, beep bloop, beep bloop. You have failed the minimum IQ requirement to be a part of this. Beep bloop, beep bloop, beep bloop. Fuck off now, beep bloop. I mean, that's what I've been saying. Um, I think that was in base six, but I think that's what I've been saying this whole time. Uh, pretty much. Baby Satchmo, banana cake, more like nanner cake. Good point. You can call me nanner cake, nanner cake. 
George, are you still mad at me? I don't know what's going on. Uh, Donnie Spark Tokyo. We need pictures for this to be a music video. This song could go number one. Fuck Stevie Lou. The winter, the Minnesota winter bites cold. Troy Kato, the AI will win with idiots because it emulates professional pop music, which would be better interpreted, uh, which would be interpreted as better compared to home audio, home studio music. Oh no. He's already taking L's. Addicted to Ubiquity 199. The Queef Squad spoke in emojis before it was cool. That's probably true. Robert Roberto Rogers, canoe is getting worse with age, not cute. Yeah, both of these women look like Tostitos scoops. <laughs> not good. It's not good. Unless you want to eat salsa out of their fucking weird concave body. Uh, um, Roberto Rogers, Keanu looks like a trans lunch lady. No, a trans lunch lady has a job. Keel, everything is so very cool. That'd be very cool. Roberto Rogers, Keanu is in the chat screaming insecurity. I doubt it. She's probably misspelling it all. I can't. I can't. I just like, at some point, it's like, Ray, you got to write it off. I, I, I want Ray to quit Hackamania. I don't want to fire him. I want him to quit. I want him to quit. I want him to back out. And then I want him to be homeless. <sighs> It'd be pretty fucking sweet for me. Keanu. I, 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 it's one of the grosser women of our time. Keanu. Melton, go boil an egg. <laughs> I too shall go boil an egg. Is boiling your head a peaceful way to end it all? Oh, God, that is an egg. <laughs> and it's behind you. All right, guys, thank you very much for a wonderful day. We appreciate it. I'm going to let Keanu get uh, get her night started. <laughs> And uh, get my night started. And I'm and I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. I got a bunch of shit I got to do today. Um, it's oh. gonna be a. Well, this has been so much fun, Aaron. Yeah. Okay. I think we got. And we got Gino. Uh, we got Keanu on the line. I think. You might be saying, "Who's Keanu?" Oh yeah, the bitch. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Mel? Yes. You're mean. <laughs> I mean, the number's everywhere. <laughs> what? Do, you, do you like fun? Why can't you let me love you? It, 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 I can't hang out with retarded fucking people, which is the category you know I'm I not now retarded. placed you in. What? <laughs> but, but why? But why? Where's April? Where is she? Yeah. But wherever she is, she's living, she's fine. Now, do you know that she's not home? I know nothing. I don't know any of that. No, uh, I know that she's You talked to her home. a week ago. Where was she? Who said I talked to her a week ago? Don't worry, I have sources. You have sources? Melty, you're wrong. You're wrong. I, I didn't talk to her a week ago. Hey, Gina, why don't you put on incorrect. your fucking soap operas in the background, you bandana bitch? Oh, my gosh. you you're very you're fired Gino up tonight. in the background. Gino <laughs> in the background going, you're wrong. Go smoke a cigar and watch your stories, Grandpa. <laughs> Why don't you read the text messages I drunk and sent you that prove it's I was right about Grandpa? It's too embarrassing. It's too embarrassing. If it happens, it'll be so embarrassing for you. Um, I read them on In Hot Water already, tough guy. It's Why very don't you embarrassing. fucking admit I was right about Ray? And you were dumb enough to be like, no, oh, it's a fun so bit. It's like a Look fucking retard. Let's, 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 let, let's not be untoward. I've never let's seen anyone ever. act more black. <laughs> let's all just calm down. What do you think? <laughs> um. Yeah, no, we won't read the messages. It'll be very embarrassing. I'll bury you in two minutes to make you look like a bigger idiot. But the point is, the point is, mm -hmm. where's Ape? Wherever she is. She, what do you mean? Were you told, what, what were you, you told where, not to I talk? I don't have a GPS system on her. Were you told not to talk about April? No, no one's told me anything like that. You she's don't find it odd that I he's out at the bar? I haven't talked to her in, in more than a week. 
he's out at the bar, what? like flirting with other women. You don't go like April's not going to like that. You don't make any remarks. That's not how I. That's not how I took it. But you know, it's not my job to talk about them. Wow. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you don't have a suspicion that they're br- broken up and not together. I have no idea. Why does what nobody have, you, you guys have between... thoughts about everyone? You talk for hours and hours every weekend about everyone. You have a lot of opinions and thoughts. Now, no, no thoughts, that's not true. No thoughts I'm and opinions. I'm not you. I don't sit there and, and covet over, you know, people's you cigarette burns. <laughs> like, of course you do. It's just not true, First of all, <laughs> no one knows anything about cigarette burns. It's a joke. The point is. Okay, well, yes, I mean, just for you to notice me in my, like, a nervous tick of it's scratching my collarbone. It's a joke. Bizarre. I got to fill time. <laughs> it's called talent. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds like that's what you do. I don't sit okay, there and talk so about Okay, so we people. have no thoughts about your friend that hasn't been seen on air for two weeks. She was on air. She doesn't want to do the show anymore. I, what am I supposed to do? Tell you more than that. She hasn't that's, been that's, seen. That's what we know, right? She hasn't been seen. She hasn't been seen. Okay, she hasn't been seen. Do you have a, someone tailing them? How do you know she's just not upstairs? <laughs> Is she? I mean, how do you I know think that? you know. I, mean, I think you, you know, and you won't seen. tell this program. I only call to tell you that you're I, I your meanness does make me smile, but you're you're very rude. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much for nothing again. This is why you and that stupid ugh, skin tag of a fiance will never go anywhere because you can't keep your story straight. You're all over the goddamn place. You lie nonstop. You're alcoholics. Did we say that? We did not say that. We didn't. Oh, I would never do that. Fag, fag. Oh, but I am going to do that. Did we say that we would? I never said that we would. Like, I'd tell you guys anything. I don't know anything. It's exhausting. This is why you'll never take off and be anything. Tell her about the playlist. They're too dumb, Moody. They're too dumb. Don't worry about it. They're too dumb. They're too dumb. You just have to stop treating them like people. I mean, I mean, uh, Gino doesn't want what he. Gino has. N- I'm playing chess, and you're playing with that whatever that toy is, where the squ- square peg peg tries to go into the round hole. That's what you're playing, and you don't even have any of the right parts. You don't want the text messages read. You don't want that. You don't want to go public with what you think. You, you know it's a lie, and I know it's a lie, so shut up. Just shut up and take the L already. You go public with it. I promise you I'm ahead of you, and you're going to look dumber than fuck. I'll look stupid as shit saying that if I'm not. So go with them, I guess. Read them. You're going to look stupid as shit. I guess we're starting a new segment. It's called fly in your fifties, fly in your fifties. Uh, Shane M 1980 flying in his 50. The show has been so great lately. No need to put on the wall or anything like that. That's not how we do things here. Shane, Shane, Shane M 1980. You're going on the wall. Thank you very much for your 50s. Fly in your 50s, guys. Fly in your 50s. Here's 50 from DK. This is calming me down. These 50s are calming me down. I was getting really worked up about these pores. Gino and what's her face? I was getting really upset. I was getting really worked up. These 50s are flying in. They're helping out. Uh, Keanu, Keanu, Jean, Pierre asking questions tonight. it's just funny when it's like they have thoughts on everybody they have thoughts on everyone until it's you know her bridesmaid this is your bridesmaid them breaking up affects whether or not and by the way if she cheated on him she probably gonna be your bridesmaid just get that through your 
you got to choose Aaron. He's the one with the followers. He's the one with the listeners. You got to choose Aaron. But now they don't have any thoughts. Haven't really thought about it. Not their business. All right, here we go. Let's try to do this one. Uh, Keek. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Kiki. Kiki's beaver smells like a skunk. Kiki's um, football. Kiki's butt hole needs a bath. Something pussy. Her box. Kiki's beaver. Skunk. Kiki's boot. Kiki's butt. Ball washing. I don't know. People are going box, dummy. What box? There's no box. You guys are fucking retarded. Box, dummy. There's no box on here. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate it. I tried. I have so much to do today. I have to mm, uh, uh, um, go boil an egg and then cry myself to sleep. Keanu doesn't know where my body is. Aaron was very careful. He put more effort into this than his show. Oh, that's true. He's so well prepared. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I guess guess next to Gino. <laughs> I guess next to Gino. Gino's been trying to bait me into this like I don't again, the problem with Gino is I I, I can't even read the messages. I try to start. But you can tell he's just trying to bait you into something again. And again, all these guys are so far behind, they don't even know it. Like, you don't want, you're dumb. You're dumb. I'm going to make you look so dumb. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, Keel, get to 10 memberships. He's flying in his 50. <laughs> Keel flying in his 50. Jesus, that's going to be, that's going to be helpful. Huh? It really brings down my entire box, idiot. It's box. You stupid fuck. It's like, what? Kiki's beaver skunk. Kiki kicks ball washing. Oh, Kiki's Steel toe ball washing. What is that next to the cat? Box next to the key. There's no box next to a key. It's not a box. It's a beaver. I see the O. Oh. I see the problem. You guys are d okay. Fuck. This one's a draw. Okay, this one's a draw. You're looking at what's on the screen, which is a box, but it's only showing a box because it can't render the emoji. The emoji is a beaver. I'm looking at my screen and I see the beaver. You're seeing a black box. I don't see that at all on my end. So this is a draw. Me screaming, what fucking box, you idiots? Kiki beaver skunk. Kiki boot ball basketball. Shower something. Cat something something. So that's a draw. That's a draw. But it's definitely not box. But what are the last two things? Needles? 
Oh, God. So I was bragging about how we have emojis, and it turns out we don't really have emojis. George is sending in 50. I didn't know this guy even liked the show anymore. This is getting crazy. April looks like a really cool bird today. Uh, George, thank you so much. YOLO! When do we get to the fats? Wall me, dog. Okay. George. He's one of the postal employees that actually works, a.k.a. White. Gino will like that. The thing is, Gino and I would do a killer show together if he could ever get, you know, his nose clean. I think Gino and I'd be good together. Gino and Patrick in the mornings, he brings the energy, you know, and he's dumb enough for me to bounce stuff off of. We'd be great. We'd be great. And we could have Kiki on it, you know, not talking, just refilling our waters but boy me and gino just ranting about the blacks at the post office that'd be a segment because again i'll i'm just calling it out what i see i'm not saying all blacks are lazy and all blacks you know these are some of the good ones they have jobs but every time i go in there it's one asian guy doing all the work one hispanic woman doing all the work and just a gaggle of blacks. I, I don't know what they're doing. Shooting dice, warming up Cajun rice in the microwave. I don't know what they do. I don't keep tabs on them. <laughs> warming up Cajun rice in the microwave. <laughs> First of all, now I want fucking Cajun rice. Now I want Cajun rice. That sounds fucking good. People send food to Perry Caravello and Mersh. No one ever sends me food. It's really depressing. Like half the people don't have my correct address and half the people don't know what I'm into. You know, I'm into like um just kfc double down <laughs> i never had one of those i never found myself in a position to even order one a kfc double down and now they have the chitza so i'm really behind melton wants mcmuffin shut up mso shut up i don't like to do this where i'm reading the chat what i'm turning into steel toe Thank you for flying in your 50s. This has been really helpful to my goal. Uh, we are doing a members only show tonight. Don't forget, a little later tonight, uh, members only, we're going to be watching the movie Star 80. Doom is going to make plop about this. I mean, he's been waiting for this one. This is the, uh, the film. Um, where the Playboy model gets, what, chopped up and fucked? Or her whole corpse? Anyway, people think this is what's going to happen to Aaron in April. He's going to get so jealous and possessive and controlling. Can't bear to see her go. And gore ensues. Again, maybe we'll watch the, uh, let's watch the uh, trailer. For Star 80. It looks like an awful film. It's going to be really, really bad, so I apologize in advance. When the editor of Playboy told me I had one Playmate of the Year, the first thing out of my mouth was, are you sure? <laughs> I have this feeling about Dorothy. She's going to be a big star. Together, we could be somebody. People would treat us that special way, the way they treat stars. 36, 24, 36. Dorothy is every man's fantasy. Oh, Mr. Hefner, <laughs> thank you. Something else is going on here. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. Playboy is a very special magazine, Dorothy. They're going to give me $10,000 for having my picture taken. They're all nice to you. Everybody is wonderful. Mr. Hefe is wonderful. Damn, I 
wish he wouldn't call me here. Go out and get yourself a job, get something going, and try to make her proud of you. So you got this beautiful Dorothy Stratton, Canadian Playboy model. He gets her, but he's such a loser. She starts getting exposed to other men, a.k.a. Riccada. Who found this, by the way? Who drew the parallels between this film and Aaron and April Imholt? Who, who was the first to do this? And he stayed the same. I think it's important that an actress and her director should have a good relationship. This is a little rough. Are you sure you want to hear it? We have some things we should talk about. About a divorce, is that what you mean? I want more freedom. She's going to come back, I know it. He still has oh. some crazy eyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, he could put it all back together again. Please come back to me. Please come back to me. Please come back to me. <laughs> I want it to be over. Shut up. Dorothy, you just can't let him do this to you. You can have her. But you're going to have to pay. How do you load it? You put it in the chamber. She broke my heart. And you cock it, and she's ready to go. There we go. Yeah, he, he was putting on a breast binder. There's so many, so many parallels. Dear God. Dear God. Um, Muriel... Hemingway. I don't know. W man, two dollars. Send you some of those big old microwave pretzels. Ooh. Can you get? Can you order Uber Eats from Costco? Could I just get a million hot dogs? Roberto Rogers, Mariel Hemingway looks like a meanie. Oh, looks like meanie. Kate meanie, that is. Yeah. Look, we were sent um, some inside information about the steel toe cheating allegations. March 22nd steel toe program is where we want to go. Now, I don't necessarily know if I see what people are claiming. This would be around the, the timeline. And this does happen to be a day where April shows up wearing something very fucking weird for that early in the morning. And now, hold on, it's gone. Whoa. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, here we go. All right, um, this is how the show starts. This is Friday, March 22nd. Just look at this. Listen to this. Good morning and welcome. It is the Steel Toe Morning Show. I commented about this right away. April looks like she's coming in from a night shift at work somewhere. A April looks like she's getting in from being outside. She has a leather overcoat on. And she has her hair done. She's wearing makeup. And again, just watch how she sits down and she's getting settled as they come on camera. Good morning and welcome. It is the Steel Toe Morning Show. There's April. There's April. And now watch this. This is the big tell. This is the big tell. I have something funny to request of you in a minute. A bag, an over-the-shoulder bag coming off. An across-the-chest, over-the-shoulder bag. What? She brought from upstairs? She put this bag on with her coat? Hello? 
Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Great stuff. Really great stuff. Again, too dumb to be a part of the program. Go listen to Gino Bascante. He will he could use it. He'd really, really like it and appreciate it. I'm not leaving. Why is this bag? Are you sure you're going? Why is the bag over her shoulders? Now, again, this is 6, 5 a.m.? 6 a.m.? Hmm. And then listen to the conversation. She said, I have something, a request of you. I'm not leaving. Are you sure you're going to know it was me? I might have had a stroke this morning. <laughs> Woo! I have had one of the most unique mornings I've ever had in my the theory is that April sent a text to Aaron meant for somebody else. Because Aaron just made a little remark. Are you sure you would know it was me? Now, it's all very... I'll play it back one more time. Just so you can catch up knowing that now. But... I don't know. Morning and welcome. It is the Steel Toe Morning Show. There's April. I have something funny to request of you in a minute. <laughs> She's taking off a purse. She's got on a coat. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. And then look at him. He's like fed up. Are you sure you're going to know it was me? I would have had a stroke this morning. <laughs> I would have had a stroke this morning. People are saying she's drunk. People are saying she's high. Woo! I have had one of the most unique mornings I've ever had in my entire life. I'm really sorry. I I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Is there anything you'd like to say with the mics off? Yes, real quick. Okay, guys, hold on. We're going to let the theme music play a little bit. I'm going to take my headphones off, and then April's going to tell me something that I can only imagine is ridiculously interesting. Hold on. All right, we got to really dive into this. We can tell at one point he says the words, I thought it was me too. I thought it was me too. Let me get out of the way here. I'm over here. I'm over here now. Hold on. She's saying, okay. I thought it was me too. She's not tired. She's wide awake. People are saying she's blasted. She's high. She's drunk. I can't tell that, but she's wide awake for sure. And it's something that's not making him happy, whatever it is. Hmm. Welcome to the show, boys and girls. Like, what in the fuck? What in the fuck? Girls. I feel like uh, whenever we have a comedy show next, I have uh, I have a new, as they call it in the business, a hunk. Remember this? No, they don't. I have a new hunk for the next time. Are you sure you would know it was me? Are you sure you would know it was me?
we see you on stage. Oh, my God. Welcome to the program, boys and girls. Uh, Good morning. I don't even, I don't know where, the, I don't know where to start. Uh, because I have, uh, <laughs> I have things on my mind. But not all of those things can be discussed publicly for fear of just kind of being gross. Um, Wait, what? Gross? No. Guys, I think I had a stroke this morning. I'm not really sure, but it's looking like it. Pretty sure April had a stroke. I really don't know what happened. Should I, like, tell them the emotions I went through first? Or do you want to say what you went through, like what you did? Like what? Like managing me and everything. I can I can go through what I went through this morning. By the way, MSO, I'll get rid of you. I will, buddy. I love you. I like you. I'm just warning you. I. He threatens him all the time. Oh, MSO's here. I don't know if that's a real guy. He gets threats all the time. Hey, buddy, I will ban you. I know. I know. We know. We know you'll ban. We know. That that that. Nah. No, thank you. What a fucking puss. No, that stuff, uh-uh. That, mm-mm. No, no. Uh-uh. No. No, thank you, bud. I mean, someone else trying, I mean, I'm, I'm, enough people try to get relevance off of this show. I don't need some, you know, some Jew who's dying to get his, his <laughs> old, his old place back on my back. That's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Um, you're a, I, I pretty sure you're a fan of this show. You're not a Citizen M type guy. So let's take it easy. Uh wow, this more miss him. Hold on. When Aaron realized MSO is just me, he's gonna be so mad. Said so Citizen M, that's hilarious. Uh no, just ch- just giving him a heads up. I, I like him. He's a good guy. He does he didn't know any better. Just uh I don't know if any of you are good guys. Are any of you good guys? I'll get some cock and a chitza. Honey, don't forget to get me a new Mac Griff so we can reach our goal. I'll also take a cock with that. Uh, Ray Tart, the untrainable member for 13 months. Bitcoin has halved. Oh, it already did? Fuck. Congrats. Uh, sweaty tryhard. That rumble show is insane. That rumble show is insane. Uh, is this a Minnesota sexomnia incident? Maybe. Uh? Yeah, the theory, too, about her having sex in the middle of the night when he didn't remember is that she cheated on him with somebody and brought it up, and that's why he didn't remember, but that doesn't make sense either. There's a lot of theories floating around about these two. Just taking care of him okay. before he gets uh, over his skis, just helping out. Uh, speaking of MSO, we need to kill today. We need to hit. Uh, yes. Tell us the days you don't need to hit. Yesterday, we got beat by 110 bucks on what was an incredible morning show. A very good show. Uh, better show than anybody else you could have watched. Uh, it really was a A1 spectacular. I'd go back and watch and point out exactly where it was brilliant. So now April's putting on chapstick in the monitor mirror type of show so we missed by 110 we need to hit today that means rumble links that means donations that means contributions we need to hit 350 it's a full goal because we missed yesterday 350 and i'm offering noon for myself whoa i'm offering noon whoa she said if we can hit that 110 we need to we need to fucking uh batten down the hatches here I hate that. We always go from really we're, we're like holy shit we're on a fucking roll like end of last week i was like guys we are on a fucking roll right now. This is crazy. Yeah. To this week, I'm like, all right, we lost by one. It's crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> 110 yesterday. We can lose by 110 once in a while. Can lose by 110 multiple times. Gotta, gotta tighten that shit up. Guys, get better. Tighten it up. Look, I'll let it slide sometimes as your coach, but we can't do that again. Tighten it up. Do better. Uh, I was behind, and once 11.30 hits, Rumble drops any buffer you have. All right. Thank you, Packer Packer. Dub starting us off today with five bucks. Thank you. That's right. We're telethoning today. Uh, 3.45 we start out with. Uh, YouTube, we're going to let you go in a little bit. 
Uh, Keith, Citizen M says you've been melting down. Citizen M's been melting down for years. Is that the, I, that the I, only comment? I would definitely not trust Citizen M. But that's, look, Keith. Wow, yeah, no. You're, wow, yeah, no. Wow, yeah, no. Wow, yeah, no. Is that an Indian word? Wow, yeah, no. Wow, yeah, no. You're going to be a better guy. Wow, yeah, no. Not trust Citizen M. But that's, look. Keith, wow, yeah, no. You're going to be a better guy than this. Like, you're going to grow up. You're going to be a better man than this. This is not the end of the road for you. Let me tell you right now. I've been owning these guys forever. I've been driving them nuts. Citizen M is just the latest of the ones I've been driving nuts. I mean, Melton, I've driven nuts. Citizen M, I've melted. Melton's gone. Now it's Citizen M's turn. I made these guys nuts. They need a mental institution, but only because I made them nuts. These people have dedicated their lives to four hours of my day. And I'm honored. Don't I don't take this with me when I leave the show. He was still, uh, he was still, like, this is two weeks before. He's like, and how could you not carry this into your real life after the show? <laughs> Ah! Don't get me wrong. I carry these people. I give them a purpose. Hold on. Who's MSO? Do we find out who MSO is or no? Or are people fucking around? And they can't stand it. And then Keith can't stand it when I point it out. It breaks his brain. But let me tell you something. As Snookerman says, Citizen M has been a bit more deranged recently than usual. I warned him about this, and I warned you. KB told Carlos Danger that I... um was doxing Stevie Lou's wife. And Carlos Danger knows better and was like, Melton's doxing Stevie Lou's wife? And and Kevin went like, yeah. And then they just all let it go. That's the world. That's where we're at, man. Yeah. Yeah, Melton's doing that. Just Stevie. Fuck, Stevie. I'm sorry, man. She okay? She okay? My condolence is to Stevie Lou's wife. Fuck. She all right? <laughs> Who knew? Who knew everyone was such a pussy? <laughs> Holy shit. Somebody messaged me the other day or like on the Discord or something. They were like, John's going after your wife. And I was like, I better go check on her. Let's see if she's all right. Hey, someone on the internet's talking about, I just want to make sure you're, you cool? Cool. <laughs> Fuck. It's insane. The, the words going after and doxed, man, we've lost it. Guys about this. That guy doesn't go outside. No. Like that guy doesn't have a life. I've had private, like he private messaged me all the time. And he would be like, I, I'm worried that this is happening. I'm worried that this guy's saying this. I'm worried that this guy, is this going to be okay? Is it? He would be panicking, messaging me. That was comedy, Shaman. That was, that, you're getting uh, Citizen M mixed up with Clay Combs. Clay Combs is the vibrating hill person. Clay Combs is the mushmouth meth head. Clay Combs, comedy shaman, psycho shaman. That's the guy you're thinking of. He's the one who can't stop. Sism's <laughs> pretty chill. Pretty chill. Because Unlike Crumbum, will stab you in a parking lot for a tall boy. Because internet guys are saying words. And I was like, dude, you just need to go outside. Oh. So if you get upset because internet people are saying words, you just need to go outside. Hear that, ape? Hear that, ape? You need to relax. You need to take it easy. You're going to have a fucking coronary at... He looks like he's eight, couldn't be more than 17, 18 years old. Right, get off the internet. He looks like he's just a kid with autism. Like uh, Dave 25, kind of. April. Telling people to get off the internet. He kind of reminds me a lot of Dave 25.
And he, yeah, he just needs to go outside. He just needs to live a life. I'm worried about the, I'm not worried about him. I don't really have an investment in what happens to him. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't care. But he's a broken, weird dude. And I don't think he has any friends outside of the internet. I know he doesn't have like a girlfriend or anything like that. He's a really troubling. Neither do you. In case. And he's one of those guys who is like a wrong push away from yeah. doing something really bad. And just guys like that, sometimes you just got to know when to break with them. That's not the uh, that's all. Not the line you want to walk. No, in life. you don't want to. You don't want to be that guy. Nope. Uh, Packer backer with five bucks says, "Let's start another April in a bikini today collection." I think we're saving those for uh, like hot tub streams and stuff like that. Yeah. Crumb said, "I do love beer. I do love beer. It depends on what brand and how big a feller he is." I think so. I know it threatens a lot of people. I know the the bikini really fucking triggers the shit. I know it triggered the shit out of Red Bar, uh, Citizen M. I didn't know Red Bar cares. Oh yeah, Red Bar was very like obsessive about your uh, your bikini showing up in a bikini on stream. I didn't show up in a bikini on stream. You, no. I think yeah, Jew I think guy. that yeah. You Jew guy. Kind of fucked Red Bar up a yeah, little bit. And uh, then I think because it fucked Red Bar up, it fucked Citizen M up. Because he's kind of, he does what. Wow, so I must have missed that whole uh, saga that he watched that and stuff. Interesting. Oh, yeah. And he was, yeah. Not very oh, complimentary. Yeah. You could definitely tell that women in bikini are kind of a threat to Mike. Doesn't Jules ever wear one for you? Doesn't Jules ever wear one for you? And doesn't Jules ever wear one for you? All right, we need to go to the Rumble one now, right? Rumble, 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 I got love in my jungle and it feels... Okay. Um... Doesn't Jules ever wear one for you? April looks like a really cool bird today. Uh, 2.93 thousand followers. Let's go back to March the 22nd, shall we? Rumble Fridays, hello. 50 minutes in, I think 40... I heard to check around 42. Jackson. Cash my check, clean my truck, put on my hat. Whoa. Hold on, look at this. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, why are we always so behind? So behind. Things? April is putting on mascara on the show. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she's got a mirror, a full mirror out doing eyeliner or something here. Look at this shit. I don't like that they took White Wedding and then did a thing. Uh, you guys are sending in shit links today. No, you know what? They're going to look. They've got. This. Wow. So she's getting ready to go somewhere. This. Veldrain, I've got yours opened. I'm Don't worry. Up. Guys, do not, um, don't send the links in twice. I've got them. They're open. Remember this pro show? She's earning a salary? And there's just a lot of them. All right, Vidam gave 10 bucks, so this goes right away. Oh, a little Alan Jackson. Cash my check, clean my truck, put on my hat, forgot about work. Sun going down, hit across town, pick up my That's baby. Good one. It's boots good boogie. Around good time. time. Oh, I need a good time. Soonish. I Weird dick you got. Oh, I think drink related. I want a good one. Around. Good time. Oh, I need good a good time. time. You ready for something gay? When you go up to do anything drink related, I want this filled with apple juice. Oh, no. I, that's why actually why I got it. I love apple juice yeah. in the show. I'm going to have some apple juice. I'll do juice. that. That's why I got it. I love apple juice during the show. These are children. Hash browns from the gas stations, uh, fruity drinks, Red Bulls, 
Nas Celsius apple juice. Fucking apple juice. He thinks he's in like fighting shape. Soonish. I'm actually really proud. I really didn't have time for anything this morning. And I'm just, I have to put this on right now. But uh, I'm being silly that, about it. I don't it, care. It was all that weird dick you got. Dude, it was good dick. What in the fuck? What did we miss? It was a great makeout session. Like yeah, you wouldn't know I by don't care. you wouldn't know by all the complaining you did. I hope you found it funny. I did. And if I were you, I woke you fucking up. me being aggressive, yes. I would have been like, "Oh yeah, bitch, I'm fucking harder," I, you know. Oh, no, I'd I fucking lean. Oh, I the, look. I'm trying not to be too graphic for the audience. I said some shit. I rumble. I said some things. Um, I don't remember what you said. It, I said some. <laughs> I said some things. I don't remember anything you said. Uh, I also was uh, afterwards. I came up and I woke you up and I said, uh, uh, "Thanks for the great sex and yelling at me the whole time." Were you like worried that I wasn't getting up because I was not getting up? That's why I woke you up. All right, continue. Enough of the fucking dirty talk. The audience thinks it's fucking obnoxious. Would you know it's me? Did she call him a different name during sex? He said, would you know it was me? And Deliveroo rider bites off grievous bodily harm. Been working as a prison sentence. Sentenced on. Arrived at the wrong. Mr. Jenkins. Lucky. Oh, yes. Yeah, see you. Is it worth it? 50 minutes. 50 minutes, 50 minutes now. We need 50 minutes now. In years of on taking shit away from Germany. It's kind of fun to watch you watching a Hitler uh, audio and say, Oh, guys, buckle up. This is good. We're on Rumble. We're safe. Adolf Hitler country. Reason Hitler got popped to butt fuck them to death. It was 55. Women one was news. When he yeah. shot you. Eventually. Even tech phone. Tonky. All right. I'm excited. Dub says, I then someone says. Oh. Wow. He didn't need to brainwash an entire nation. Talk about this because of how poorly the Jews were treated in World War II. Sentiment that non-Jewish Germans had of saying that was the case. I'm saying Hitler was popular. How was he always going over World War II and Hitler? Every day he's discussing Hitler. Every fucking day. The mayor of a small town in Illinois you've never heard of and Hitler. These are these are the two topics he's on, and there was a reason he was popular. It's a skosh too far. So oh, oh, clean this shit up. You're gonna see what the fuck you did, because they the American soldiers and the Allied soldiers did not believe for a second that these people didn't know what the fuck was going on. We held the German people accountable. What in the fuck is happening? All right, this email says. Uh, check out 50 minutes in. That's not 50 minutes in, though. It's my gut feeling at the same time of the night sex incident, April had messed up by saying she'd had sex that night or morning. It's my belief she cheated on Mubi and messed up by saying it out loud and had no choice but to attempt to gaslight Mubi into thinking... They'd had sex in the night. But that implies like she's sl sneaking out at night and having sex and he doesn't notice. That seems far-fetched. Oh, Keanu, my darling slobber master, your tongue in my rock pocket is like a worm dig, dig, digging through a compost pile. Mm, please dive deeper into my scrimp swamp. Keep going, my slimy, slimy love. I'm c, c coming, LaRue, LaRue. LaRue. All right, Gino, you stud. Bring that impressive cock over here so I can give it a taste and just kick back, watch our women fuck, and when you're ready to hit the goal, I'll swallow every drop. Probably true. Hey, buddy, old pal, good friend of my show. Don't you forget about me. April is definitely on drugs. I know first, firsthand, once you go to Brown Town, it's over. Fuck you, Kate and Ashley LaRue. You both are gay. I am not on drugs. I am living my best life. I will be on steel toe once again. Glad the drug whore is gone. Can you imagine if everybody just hated April? 
Moody said he's sending over a lip reading analysis, which I can only imagine is a troll. We're like, you turned a blind eye to this shit. You knew he was doing dumb in fuck. Abby. You're probably right. Simon Brown says Germany was still paying off. Like, they wanted Hitler. And German Ben. Yeah. This is in this. What the fuck is going on? Weird, weird world. Hello. Hey, just real quick, I was going to say Kevin Brennan looks like Michael Rappaport, and that Aaron and April don't go to the gym at the same time, so she probably went to the gym, showers there, and then comes back to the show. She came back late because she was out fucking some dude. All right, that's All it. I'll right. let you get back to the show. Thank you. She's not Angie Crumb, guys. Come on. I don't need this easier. Eat during sex, exactly. I was going to add. Uh, Yo, Jimmy, you got the mott? This giant tub of apple juice. How fat do you think Charlotte is? Answer a question you had. Yeah, the pharmaceutical industry. Yeah. Sure. The medicine. Cope with itself. Uh, you were uh, spicy today, though, especially for how your day started. Well, somebody. No, I'm very happy. But, like, this show often gives me a chance to voice my opinions on things. I know. And I don't want to just... miss that because you're like, no, you got to learn how to get through that shit. You got to learn how to survive. Just a tall boy of apple juice. What a fucking cuck. One giant glass of sugar, please. Like, you don't, like, we need to do away with antidepressants and anti-anxiety meds. Like, we just need to get rid of them. Well. I know they might help. somebody who has, like, uh, been through the anxiety thing before due to certain circumstances. Sounds like her entire nasal cavity has been eaten away. I know that I did attempt to lean on one until that I could pull my brain out of its own ass. Nope. I leaned on one for a little bit. I think it makes us weak. And uh, Yep, April. I do. I think as a culture. I don't think it's a strong thing either. But yeah. I am saying, like, eventually, like, I, I totally got off it, and I asked for, like, the smallest dose, too. Like, to a point of, like, they're like, yeah, the thing you're taking, though, is almost like just having a sugar pill. I endorse... So just like uh, getting there. I, yeah, just have some apple juice, you fucking weirdos. All right, Moody sent me over a voice analysis, uh, lip sync analysis. Oh, boy. Why why didn't you email these to me? How am I supposed to Oh god. He's texted me six videos. As if. So now I have to transfer those to my computer. Don't worry, this will only take 38 minutes. This was the best way to do this. I'll just wait for iCloud to sync up. You guys want to talk about anything cool or? I did need them on my phone. That's where I needed them, Moody. I needed them on my phone. It's a great, great instinct. Uh, Colin Madden, $5. I bet they swapped with the Ricadas and she went back on her own. Sans Mooby. Uh, that scenario has happened to a bunch of people I know. Oh, yeah, a lot of people think they can handle that lifestyle. So I was saying last night, you know, but they can't. All right, I got them. They synced finally. Uh, everybody thank Moody. He really is uh, a great. Okay, look. I know Anton you know, that's happening in Rochester. Right, know where I, I gotta was. turn that off. Now I don't know what's happening. What's playing? I don't even know what's playing. Um. All right, there's six videos. They're all named default. All six of them. 
That's also very cool. Fuck me. Fuck me. Okay, this is, uh, I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Um, this is voice analysis of some sort. Uh, Colin, Matt, I bet they swap with the Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Thank you for the uh, super trap. How do I do this now? All right, I think this is the first one. Let's listen. Okay, well, I know Anton who knows. I type of Roger to know where I was. I didn't know what man I was with the you. I thought I was bad. I thought I was Jews. I thought it was the Jews. I thought it was the Jews. Is this AI? AI can read lips? Okay, well, I know Anton who knows. I type of Roger to know where I was. I didn't know what man I was with the you. I thought I was bad. I thought I was Jews. Okay, let's go to the second one. And then, so now I'm going to have a into so somebody said that there's phone relations and shaping that we so I'm going to tell people how she do. What in the fuck? And then, so now I'm going to have a into so somebody said that there's phone relations and shaping that we so I'm going to tell people how she do. And then, so now I'm going to have a into so somebody said that there's phone relations and shaping that we're in, so I'm going to tell people how she do. And then, so now I'm going to have a into so somebody said that there's phone relations and shaping that we're in, so I'm going to oh, tell good. people the how she do. Twice. I still my drive, I go past there. I still fill in my place. I don't know the running to him is I didn't know that. Whoa. This one sounds like something. I still my drive. I go past there. I still fill in my place. I don't know the running to him is I didn't know that. I still meant what I said. I still stand by. I still my drive. I go past there. I still fill in my place. I don't know the running to him is I didn't know that. I still my drive. I go past there. I still fill in my place. I don't know the running to him is I didn't know that. Wow. Uh, uh, I'm trying to buy a spell again. Uh, A sad situation. How people is like that. Uh, what the fuck? A sad situation. A sad situation. How people is like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is useful at all, but interesting. I mean, inconclusive. I endorse Trutch. marijuana far before I endorse any of that shit. Like, I may not be a weed bro. But smoke something, drink something, do something like that before we put this shit that just fucking destroys people. Like, you can get over anxiety and depression without a crippling cost. I think we can all agree that antidepressants have a crippling cost to our society. Uh, and anti-anxiety meds. It, it's a trench coat tied around her waist. It goes down to her knees. What is that? What is she doing? Detroit, I can't believe it. I want all three bucks to go to Moody. Fuck my life. It's have a crippling cost to our society. The public gets weaker. The public gets dumber. And then these people, these demons who have taken over our country, keep taking over because we're medicated. We're softened. Our brains aren't as sharp. These demons keep taking over our country. Imagine Steel Toe complaining that your brain isn't sharp. <laughs> you gotta listen to Steel Toe to keep your mind sharp. Let's bring out Shaka. We go along to get along because we don't want to cause any anxiety or depression or anything like that. And then these, like, it's no, it's not a coincidence. 
that the same people who run this country run the pharmaceutical companies and they come out with drugs that convince you you have a problem and then make you docile. What year is it? Yeah, no, they are bad. I can focus on somebody needed them something and it would be for the most minimum I would use them. That people who own them also run agree with you. Anti-anxiety, antidepressants, people take them. But um, the, the couple drugs that I had tried out at that time, I think it was- Can we watch the Geno show now? Let's see the, the, the Geno program from today. I've seen none of this. What's going on, faggots? If you hurt my friends, then you- I, they're, they're children. They're children. What's going on, faggot? It's like, what's going on with you? Every day, the Jews, the trans, the gays, every day. Day. Every goddamn day. It's an intro to his show. People, are people mad? People are mad, aren't they? How how late was it? Twenty about twenty minutes? Twenty five minutes? Yeah. Oh, he's twenty five minutes late today. I woke up at uh, five o'clock. And then I woke up at 5.15. And then I woke up at 6.09. April ain't there. April's not there. April ain't there. He's sleeping in now. (laughs) Somebody was a little sleepy this morning. Whoopsie daisy. But here I am. The Steel Toe Morning Show commences 25 minutes late. And oh boy, are people mad. You know what sucks is I woke up, I was very happy. See, uh, my audience knows better to get mad at me if there's not a show in the morning. Imagine doing something about it, idiots. Wait. Is there going to be a show today? Maybe. Maybe not. Wait. Just wait. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Daniel threw 200 bucks at us yesterday after the show ended. Cor- classic Daniel. Hello. Hey. Another win for Steel Toe. Can you believe it? Anonymous says, when is the April as Marley Matlin AI voice going to be available? Why does she talk deaf? You know, it is a sad situation. Wow. Yeah, no. Wow. Yeah. Hey, so we knocked out yesterday's goal. We knocked it out. 200 came in late. (laughs) Sure it did. Sure it did. We went over. Teamster Tim did send me $20 yesterday. Thank you, Teamster Tam. By 50 bucks. Somebody's already given us 10 bucks this morning. So we're at 300 and we uh, get to throw Keanu some money for doing yesterday's show. I'm in a great mood. I'm excited. I'm a little embarrassed about oversleeping. But I will tell you this. In my career, I have overslept many times. Oh. I'm a little sad that I raped that woman, but let, let me tell you this. I've raped a lot of women. So. And I will oversleep again. And I'll rape again. That's just the nature of me and raping. <laughs> That's the nature of the beast of doing a show at six. It's just when you do a show at this time of the day, it just comes with the territory. Classic He's got some texting to do. You'll wait. 
just let Gino know I sent him the link. Is he here? Did he? Did he? No, not yet. So Gino will be here in a little bit. I'm thank going- you. Happy early 420 to you too. Spark it up if you got it. Uh, by the way, thank you, Daniel, for the 10 bucks. Appreciate that. Very cool. So you guys should be happy. It's a smaller goal today because I'm late. Three hundo is the number. And it's Rumble Link Friday. Send us five bucks. We have to play. You it. guys should be happy. I want less money from you today. Where's your gratitude, you pigs? <laughs> You guys should be happy. Send us 10. We I'm have giving you less homework have to play it right away. And if you want to throw some money at us just to be fun, uh, PayPal, Rumble Rants, stream. Nobody left. ever throws money at me just to be fun. That should be the comment in the money. Just to be fun. Maybe a confetti emoji. Maybe. Maybe if there's time. <laughs> labs uh anything we go over today gino takes it home keanu's gonna take home 60 70 bucks from yesterday plus a little something we'll throw on the top i don't know i'm sorry i know i'm I, i'm about to scroll through the chat i know i'm about to read some very angry mean things because the internet is an angry mean place full of bitter people but imagine living somewhere and complaining about it constantly I hate the internet. It's where I work. It's the worst. I have to tell you, I am in a great mood this morning. Yesterday was a very accomplished day. And, you know, we ended up knocking out the goal and go. Gino and I are having a play date. Very, very cute. Going over. (sighs) My ribs still hurt like shit. I have to tell you, (laughs) bruised ribs are the weirdest injury I've ever had. Because you get to a point where you start feeling better. You forgot the confetti. My lost interest. You forgot the confetti. (laughs) I mean, it's like you don't even want to have fun. There's not a trumpet. There's not a clown. There's not a a big top tent. Something? A roller skate? You know? I've taught you about the emojis, and we're just... We're just... We're just throwing out sans serif font basic bitch sentiments. Girls just want to have fun. Girls. Okay, so step it up. Like shit show. This one makes more sense. I got to check now for squares before we decipher. Uh, Okay. Uh... Oh God! Oh God! Do I even want to want to? Do I even want to try this? Gorillas. Eight ball. Lollipop. What sucker? Suck. Dick. Anybody with this one? Monkey balls suck dick. Apes. Okay, apes ball. Ape eight ball sucking dick driving to. Okay, April was like up all night doing eight balls. Suck. Uh. Sucking dicks and then drives to her house in the morning. Um, to do the show. What's the basket? Oh no! This nonsense is taking away from the show. This nonsense is the show, Chip Galloway. If I could take back every birthday wish, I would. You don't deserve birthdays. Trashed. Oh, trashed. She's trashed on the radio show. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's almost as good as... Mommy, I saw Daddy in the bedroom.
bedroom growing a man from his butt. Really, really good. Here's 20 bucks. Uh, wow, that was fun. <laughs> drive by is just having fun giving me money. Just saying, here's $20. That was really, really cool and fun. He gets it. He gets it. Unlike Patrick Michael. North Idaho Pass Control gifted five members. Is that true? Wow. <laughs> Five memberships from North Idaho Pest Control. And if that's company money, if that's taxpayer money, even better. Uh, Keel, $2. I'm a, your official Canadian mascot. Used to be Giroux, but I think he's dead. I think Giroux quit with God. And then you're like, oh, shit, you know what? I'll be ready. Running just as fast as we go, 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 go. Need to go back to the gym. I'll be ready to start working out again, maybe. I'll be drinking apple juice by the gallon. I'd be in my top physical form. Go golfing, whatever. And then, like, you'll just catch a stretch for, like, a week, like this week, where you wake up and they fucking hurt and you move and they fucking hurt. Ribs are a... They're a tricky animal. <laughs> what if he damaged his ribs trying to suck his own dip, dick because April's gone? <laughs> I tried to do the turn and I caught a rib. Man, they really are. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and read the chat and see what they're saying. I'm sure they're mad. Uh, did the computer crash? No, I was just sleeping. Aaron's sleep jerking went overtime. Did not sleep jerk. Uh, waking from your buffet coma, says Plankton. Uh, Pip, you know, I've noticed this in the comment section. Pip has been bitchy lately. Pip has really been cunty towards me. He really, he's been a little on edge. He's one of these guys who constantly, like, if things aren't going exactly the way he needs to, then the show is falling apart. I love those kind of people. I've been, the show's been falling apart for a decade now. I hope everything I do falls apart the way this show does. Oh, God. I, I like it. I like that he's owning it. He's living in the moment. He's got the failure wrapped around him like a cloak of warmth. Because it apparently has a really high shelf life. I don't know if it frustrates people that, like, we seem to have a horseshoe up our ass. I mean, I know it frustrates, like, Patrick Melton and the Onion. How, was the, how do you have a horseshoe up your ass? Your wife is gone. It doesn't frustrate me. Your wife is gone. No, DK, you're not doing it right. You got to use the emoji. You guys are dumb. You just wrote waterworks. That's not. <sighs> it's upsetting. Hello. Hey, Batty, it's a Starbucks ambassador oh, here. I was wondering God. if you saw that April left Aaron. No, what happened? I don't know. It seems like she left Aaron. There's, like, all kinds of rumors about it. Uh, so what you up to right now? Where did you hear that she left Aaron? Tell me more. I don't know. There was some shows going around, and, like, April's not there no more. Well, what uh, have you been watching? What shows Aaron, do you like? What shows have you been watching? Aaron, Aaron doesn't uh, wear the ring anymore. Are you going to, I heard you were going to come sabotage Hackamania, tough guy. I was going to, uh, hey, 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 hey. You got to watch out here, tough guy. You don't know who you're fucking talking to. I run Starbucks. I'm the I was going to move back to the East Coast until my living situation changed. That's what all these ex yeah, exactly. say. <laughs> yeah. So you watch out here, tough guy. You watch out there, fatty, fatty, buddy. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. I did. I had that salted praline thing. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. Um, Stop talking about my precious children. Meet me outside. I'm not having fun at all. Fuck your kids. And I mean literally. Like by the time I'm divorced, Charlotte will be 18. And she might spread for me. Patrick, are you talking about fucking his children? No, it's adult daughter. His adult daughter. Oh, God. Fuck my lost interest. Just for fun, is this cool? And it shows up as a box, but it's a roller skate. 
It's a roller skate. So you did it right, but fuck, Moody's got to fix these. We we need the latest emojis. We need the latest emojis. Carter's kid says, "I as your attorney, I advise you to to zip it." I'm not opposed to talking about fucking Charlotte M. Holt. I'm not opposed to talking about fucking Charlotte M. Holt in 10 years. In 10 years, I'm saying. Not now. She's way, way, way too tight. Come on. I mean, stop fucking with me, everybody. <laughs> Bravo, Patrick. This super tip system is sweet. Uh, Edgelord cringe. I mean, it's a, I'm making fun of Edgelord cringe. I wouldn't fuck his daughter if she was 60. And she will be. She will be. She's going to have a long, good life. Right, Dad? What is this show even? Fans and the people on that Discord. I know it frustrates them a lot that we just, anytime something bad happens, just like some crazy lucky thing, like we're the luckiest turds in the world. Maybe it's because we don't go like deep spying on people and get really creepy and are super obsessive and stalkers. Deep spying? You told us your kids' names. Deep spying. Maybe the universe just kind of rewards that, if I could borrow from Gino. But, hey, maybe uh, maybe I'm just a... You just got done not eating because it was so stressful you didn't know what your fucking wife and partner were doing. Now you're, now you're going, we walk around with a horseshoe in our ass. Things couldn't be better. This guy can't lose. Forget Parker Lewis. Better guy than you guys are. I'm a better guy than you guys are. Seven stalkers. Maybe the universe just kind of rewards that if I could borrow from Gino, but. Oh, he's talking about the playlist, the deep stalking. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe I'm just a better guy than you guys are. That's probably true too. Although you don't set a very high bar, but thank you to Daniel for the 200 bucks yesterday. That was awesome. Just a really cool guy. Cool. Uh, Pip says, now we're late today. This show maybe is falling apart. Yes, here's what I will tell you. Me falling asleep and sleeping in like I have, mm, I'm going to go dozens of times in this show's history, definitely means it's falling apart. You should definitely go with that. Uh, Los Federales says, watch two streams yesterday from behind enemy lines. Big bag of nothing. Some people seriously need to get a fucking life. It is sad, but... Well, I, I mean, look, you don't, I don't watch it. I don't read it. Watch two streams yesterday from behind enemy lines. What? Do you just mean you watched NLO? <laughs> we don't really have enemy lines over here. What do you do? People just, people need to fill their day. And some, and I'm honored, dude. Some people choose to fill their day by talking about me. It, I, I mean, what more of an ego boost could you get? He loves it. He loves it. People are unhappy, and they're unhappy because of their obsession with me. If those aren't me pulling marionette puppet strings without even asking to, I don't know what is. Uh, Pip says, no wonder goals are being missed. Can't even show up on time anymore. Ha ha, bitch. We met yesterday's goal. Everyone throw in five or ten bucks so we can laugh at Pip for being wrong. And we know for a fact that he's been making up uh, donations from haters to lie about hitting the goal. So, like, there's really no telling. There's really no telling what he's making up. We really just have no idea. He he. But a, a grown man going, ah, we hit the goal. He, he, he said the words, he, he. Up on time anymore. Ha ha, bitch. We met yesterday's goal. Everyone throw in five or 10 bucks so we can laugh at Pip for being wrong. He, he, and show up on time anymore. Ha ha, bitch. We met yesterday's goal. Everyone throw in five or 10 bucks so we can laugh at Pip for being wrong. He, he.
even show up on time anymore. Ha ha, bitch. We met yesterday's goal. Everyone throw in five or ten bucks so we can laugh at Pip for being wrong. Everyone throw in five or ten so we can laugh at Pip for being wrong. And then what? He he. Is that a Michael Jackson impression? He he. Hulk Amasha Baby says it's kind of sterling. Prof- it's this kind of uh, sterling professionalism that'll get radio companies interested in you again. Cheers, mate. Right. Cheers. Uh, Kane says maybe Aaron lives by CP. Why did he say cheers, mate? Cheers, mate. Hello? Hey, this is Citizen M. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, we got it. All very, very funny, cool, cool stuff. Uh, Moody, is he implying that he's pulling people's puppet strings to the point they make April feel so uncomfortable that she leaves both the show and him? Another win for Steel Toe. Yeah, that's a good point. No, I meant for all this to happen. It's a horseshoe up my ass. T and not CST. Oh, does he call a Baldo a horseshoe? See, I'm black. Los Federales says Aaron got busted at the border smuggling cheese, and Gino got denied entry into the USA because he looks like a migrant. Uh, Fauci's pangolin says Aaron and Gino are banging. It takes longer sometimes. Where are the fags? I'm right here. Uh, Zach says late, straight, and full of hate. (sighs) (laughs) All right. And then says 88. Jesus Christ. Uh, Will says sleep too much and you'll get fat. I thought sleep was part of, uh, like losing weight. Rusty Grammar says it's over. It's finished. Pip says, might be rusty. Been a tough scene this week. Dude, Pip is like so full of hate towards me. It's fucking hilarious. I it's so funny I'm alone. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Love Pip. Pip is like, uh, what do you call it? Concern trolling? Where he's like, oh, just think it's over the way. It's been a tough week. It's been a fucking great week. Are you kidding? The two, three weeks before that? When I had to fill in for April and had nobody to replace her, that was a fucking nightmare. I thought you forgot how good you were at this and it came natural to do alone shows. Which is it? He wins in every direction. It's tough to keep up. Dude, Pip, you are full of shit. If you think this week was rougher than the last two weeks, you're out of your fucking mind. I'll take the suspension. We've knocked out all of our goals this week. I'll, t- I'll eat the suspension. Uh, that's, how, that's why you're gaining weight. You're not supposed to eat suspensions. What a fat fuck. The fucking doing solo shows all the time, that was going to kill me. Big time. But yeah. I don't know how Melton does it. Probably all the fucking cupcakes he eats, right? Big fat sack of shit. All right, we're going to get out of here and do a reset. I'm going to take an hour or two off. We're going to come back tonight. Members only program tonight. Star 80, the feature film. The feature film. We'll be watching it. There better not be any tits. There better not be any tits. I'll show them, but there better not be any. Okay, don't fall asleep. No, I'm just going to grab a couple pizzas, jerk off, probably dodge 70 more calls from this chick. Beloved Chatter just gifted a membership. He never gifts memberships. He never gifts memberships. It's very, very rare that ever happens, okay? So that's crazy. Keel says this guy will never give up content for years. I'd love to move on. We just can't. It just keeps coming and 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 keeps. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the 
comedy hasn't hit them yet They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet Excuse me, miss, are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show Boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking And the low point is the low point, not the reason The reason is fucking gold Gonna make the taco pony party be a part of your soul to make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold the family probably get arrested before they get down the road a stupid motherfuckers just got NL loaned other radio shows a straight bitch male prone talk shit on the youngins that nobody like past have my homeboy lame prank call him fast have him thinking that he hates him like right before he berates him and the way that he baits him put him right on blast like Patrick is an asshole and his show won't last and every time I